రామానుజదయాపాత్రం జ్ఞానవైరాగ్య భూషణం శ్రీమద్ వెంకటనాథార్యం వందే వేదాంత దేశికం లక్ష్మీనాథ సమారంభాం నాథయా మునమధ్యమాం అస్మదాచార్య పర్యంతం వందే గురుపరంపరాం యోనిత్యమచ్యుత పదాంబుజ యుగ్మరుక్మ వ్యామోహత స్థరితరాణి తృణాయమేనే అస్మద్గురోర్భగవతోస్ దయైక సింధో రామానుజస్య చరణౌ శరణం ప్రపద్యే మాతా పితా యువతయస్తనయా విభూతిస్సర్వం యదేవ నియమేన మదన్వయాన ఆద్యస్య నహ కులపతేర్వకుళాభిరామం శ్రీమద్ తదంగ్రియుగళం ప్రణమామి మూర్ధన భూతం సరశ్చ మహదాహ్వయభట్టనాథ శ్రీభక్తిసార కులశేఖర యోగివాహాన్ భక్తాంగ్రిరేణు పరకాల యతీంద్రమిశ్రాన్ శ్రీమద్ పరాంకుశమునిం ప్రణతోస్మి నిత్యం నారాయణం నమస్కృత్య నరంచైవం నరౌంతమం దేవీం సరస్వతీం వ్యాసం తథోజయ ముదీరయేత్ వ్యాసం వశిష్ఠనప్తారం శక్తే పౌత్రం అకల్మశం పరాశరాత్మజం వందే శుకతాతం తపో నిధిం వ్యాసాయ విష్ణురూపాయ వ్యాసూపాయ విష్ణవే నమో వై బ్రహ్మనిధయే వాసిష్ఠాయ నమో నమ అచతుర్వదనోర్బ్రహ్మ బిబాహురపరోహరి అపాలలోచన శంభు భగవాన్ బాదరాయణ పారాశర్యవచస్సుధాం సుమనస దుగ్ధాబ్ధి మధ్యోద్ధృతం సంసారాగ్ని విదీపన వ్యపగత ప్రాణాత్మ సంజీవని పూర్వాచార్య సురక్షిత బహుమతి వ్యాఘాత దూరస్థిత ఆనీతం తు నిజాక్షరై సుమనస భౌమాపిబంతన్వహం నిగమకల్పతరోర్గలి ఫలం శుకముఖాత్ అమృతద్రవ సంయుతం పిబత భాగవత రసమాలయం ముహురహో రసికా భువి భావుకా సాంద్రానందవబోధాత్మకమనుపమితం కాళదేశావదిభ్య నిర్ముక్తం నిత్యముక్తం నిగమశతసహస్రేణ నిర్భాస్యమానం అస్పష్టం దృష్టమాత్రే పునః ఉరుపురుషాత్మకం బ్రహ్మతత్వం తత్వాతి సాక్షాత్ గురుపవనపురే హంతభాగ్యం జనాన అగ్రే పశ్యామి తేజో నిబిడతర కళ యావళి లోభనీయం పీయూష ప్లవితోహం తదను తదుతరే దివ్య కైశోరవేషం తారుణ్యారంభరమ్యం పరమ సుఖ రసాస్వద రోమాంచితై నారదాద్యై విలసదుపనిషత్ సుందరీ మండలైశ్చ బాహుద్వందే నరత్నోజ్వలవలయభృత షోణపాణి ప్రవాళేనోపాత వేణునీ ప్రసృత నఖమయోకాంగులీం సంగశారాత్వా వక్త్రరవిందే సుమధుర వికసద్ రాగం ఉద్భావ్యమానై శబ్దబ్రహ్మృతై త్వం శిశిరీత భువనై కర్ణవీధి యోగీంద్రాణాంగేష్వధికసుమధురం ముక్తి భాజాసో భక్త కామవర్షద్యుతరుకి సలయం పాదమూలం నిత్యం చిత్తస్థిత మే పవన పురపతే కృష్ణ కారుణ్య సింధో 
कृष्ण कारुण्य सिंधो निशेषतापान प्रतिशत परमानंद संदोह लक्ष्मी अज्ञावा ते महत्व यदि निगदित विश्वनाथ क्षमेत स्त्रोत्र चैतत्सहस्रोत्तर अधिकतर तत्प्रसादा भूयात वेधा नारायणीय श्रुतिषु जनुषस्तुत वर्णन स्फीत लीलावतारैरीद गुरुता आयुरारोग्य सौख्यम आयुरारोग्य सौख्यम जानकीका स्मरण गोपिका जीवन स्मरण with the benign grace incessant grace of paramatma we have been able to relish cherish experience and internalize the explanations as cited by shukab brahmam the celebrated son to a celebrated father so vyasa there is a saying in vishnu puranam krishna dvaipayanam vyasam vidhi narayanam prabhu kohyanyo bhuvi maitreya mahabharata krit bhavet parashara maharshi tells his student maitreya who but my son vyasa could create a magnum opus like mahabharata so what is so great in father saying this because shastram says that the parents should never praise their children it doesn't mean you have to do the contrary you don't have to demotivate abuse nothing but over praising is not accepted in shastram others should praise just because others are not praising we should not end up praising our own children av adan kondadradile nammal adu kondadalla so if parashara maharishi goes tangential to the esoteric sayings where he praises his own son vyasa it means vyasa has done so much good that the father is coaxed to say this when janaka gives his daughter sita to rama he says yam sita mama suta my daughter that my is so significant there because he was the one who said the, the city may be burning the possessions in the city could be burning but all none of it which burns is mine pradiptayam mithilayam name kinchit pradahyate nothing of mine burns but that mine comes when he gives his daughter in marriage he says mama suta because sita was so disciplined cultured extremely talented very well beneficial to the society at large that the father was coaxed to say mama so does parashara say that veda vyasa is so celebrated as a son of mine same is the case with shukab brahmam so shukab brahmam's words in shrimad bhagavatam every word is nectar there is in fact i have skipped all those portions in the bhagavata mahatmyam it seems devas came and said please we will give you nectar give us bhagavatam in return so that was the barter that used to happen with shrimad bhagavatam so we believe vedo khilo dharma moolam so our roots lie in the vedas but what lies below the ground is never seen that is what it supports the tree but it's never seen to the eye but what is seen to the eye is the large trunk of the tree the branches and from the branches the leaves and from the leaves the buds the buds the uh, fruits the flowers the fruits this is what is visible so if at all vedas are treated as the roots and the tertiary roots are the vedangas and upangas the trunk is the upabrahmanam that branches into two one is shrimad ramayanam and the other is shri mahabharatam it is called upabrahmanam that which takes you very close to brahma then comes the 18 puranas the agamas in the literature so the essence of this tree came into the flower and the flower turned into a fruit and that fruit was initially tasted by a parrot 
and that fruit was bhagavatam and the parrot was shukabrahmam nigama kalpa taroho galitam phalam shukamuka tamritadrava sanyutam pibata bhagavata rasamalayam muraho rasika bhuvi bhavukaha people in the bay area are extremely lucky shukabrahmam says bhuvi bhavukaha yesterday day 3 there was one portion where we had left an important portion in the saptamaskandam which is shri nrsimhavataram at the commencement at about 7 10 i spoke about chetana and achetana and i said i will talk about this later see you all didn't remind me at all i said i'll talk about this later yesterday i was a bit doubtful after i went home oh i didn't talk about this so there is one portion this is a bit of vedanta i am extremely sure that you won't leave halfway with that sheer confidence i am speaking about vedanta now if you are bored just it will take about 10 minutes you can relax and then when the narration comes you can take it we speak about two four types of knowledge in vedanta one is called dharmi gyanam the second is called dharma bhuta gyanam i will ask these questions you have to remember write it down dharmi gyanam dharma bhuta gyanam is it uh, so what is dharmi gyanam that knowledge which is responsible for reminding the jivatma of its sheer presence which is i that i is one knowledge see when somebody asks us it's an often quoted example you slept well we don't say well we say i slept well so if you have slept how do you know that i slept well if you have slept well somebody else should say nanna thunginar how will you know because even while you were sleeping well the i did not sleep that is why we say i comma slept well so slept well is the body i did not sleep so that i is what is being reminded to the jivatma of its presence i i i that is the only job of that knowledge one so that keeps reminding of the jivatma of i alone that is called dharmi gnanam then there is another knowledge it is called dharma bhuta gnanam vedanta deshika gives an exquisite explanation to this in his magnum opus rahasya traya saram he says vishaya prakashana velaile swashrayatuk swayam prakasham what is this sir? what is his definition when the gnanendriya in the physical body comes in contact with an other object this second knowledge gets ignited for example let us say i was born at the age of 2 my grandfather then he looks at a light and say he teaches me light light so as a child my eye comes in contact with the light it takes a photograph of it and sends it to my memory cell and there it gets stored that this is light so in, you won't realize how much of thinking goes into it into the brain so the brain will say that these are the qualities associated with the light he will not show me the light when it is not on you are able to understand what i am saying he will switch it on and then say this is light so the first attribute which my brain records i later my brain records is it has to emit light the shape may be different i could get different shapes circular light rectangular light but the basic property attribute aprutak siddha visheshanam is light this light goes into my brain now next day when my mother shows a light which is not switched on she says where is light i will keep looking because i can't see that light until she switches that on then later i will realize oh so light can be switched on and off these are the attributes that go now when i'm at the age of 3 i don't need my grandfather to tell me this is light i will now tell my grandfather light why because my eye comes in contact with the light it goes to the brain the brain retrieves that data saying that in your recorded files this matches with the light that you have understood at the age of 
tell your grandfather this is light. So I tell. Correct. But when I am not looking at the light, my Jeevatma will not keep thinking of the light. Light up It won't. Only when the eye comes in contact with that object, that knowledge will get ignited. So that momentary knowledge, when one of the senses comes in contact with an external object, is called Dharma Bhuta Jnana. So there are two knowledges, Dharmi and Dharma Bhuta. That is why in case some relative or friend of ours go, goes into coma, Dharmi Jnanam alone is active. Dharma Bhuta Jnanam is not active. That is why even if you stand before the patient who is physically that ill and you keep telling you remember who I am, that person will not be able to tell because there is no coordination between the eye and the brain to tell the data. But that Dharmi Jnanam is there. That is why the nurse has been appointed. Dharmi Jnanam alone is there. Dharma Bhuta Jnanam is not there. Why are you telling all this sir? Wait. I spoke about two knowledges. Dharmi and Dharma Bhuta Jnanam. Dharma Bhuta Jnanam is attributive knowledge, which means if I have to give a, I'll give you a simple example, you'll understand these two knowledges well. Have you heard of Mysore Park? Yes. Now only the lecture has begun. <laughs> uh, now, while making Mysore Park, you have to take that basin flour and then you'll have to take sugar, you have to take loads of ghee. You should not put ghee in this. You should add this to the ghee. <laughs> and then you make Mysore Pak. Now there is a method of making Mysore Pak where you put sugar into the Mysore Pak and then make stir it well and then put it onto a greased plate and then cut it into pieces. Some of them do something very unique. While the concoction is put into a plate, when it's not extremely, it should not be extremely hot. At one stage, you sprinkle sugar at the top. It should not be done when it's very hot because it will completely melt. It should not be done when it's cold because then the sugar won't stick. It has to be done at a stage where it wouldn't melt but it has to stick. You are able to understand? The sugar within the Mysore Park is not visible to the eye. It has dissolved within the Mysore Park. That is Dharmi Jnana. The sugar at the top, which is visible, attached, but it can be removed. That is Dharma Bhuta Jnana. Oh. See, Mysore Park is very helpful. Now, for a Jeevatma, it is called Chetana because it is the substratum to Dharma Bhuta Jnana. Because of a Jeevatma, is the foundation for Dharma Bhuta Jnanam. We are called Chetana. For an Achetana Vastu, Dharma Bhuta Jnanam cannot attach itself because the base is not there. So for a Jeevatma, it becomes a substratum to Dharma Bhuta Jnanam. That for which the Dharma Bhuta Jnanam doesn't have a substratum is called Achetana. Chetana, Achetana. Till this you have understood? Okay. Now, Chetana is our Jeevatma. If you understand, I'll just take five more minutes and then get into Gajendra Moksha. Only if you understand this, will you be able to understand what I'm going to talk about Nisimavataram, how it is connected. The Jeevatma, which is housed here for each of us. Okay. This Jeevatma, which is there in this body, is a part, is integral to Paramatma. Now, Paramatma and Jivatma have similarities. I don't know, all of you will be experts. You know, there's something called set theory in mathematics. We use Venn diagrams. Set A is Paramatma. Set B is Jivatma. Set A intersection B, where we have some common attributes between Jeevatma and Paramatma. What is the most common attribute? Both are have Chaitanya, both have knowledge. He is super knowledge, we are normal knowledge. He is surf excel, we are surf. <laughs> now, both of us have knowledge in common. So, both of us are Chaitana in a way. He is a Parama Chaitana, we are Chaitana. Now, this Parama Chaitana and Chaitana, what does it mean? From that Chetana, this Chetana has come. I am not talking about the birth. I am just saying there is an association. 
So in this world, we always associate the birth of a Chetana with another Chetana, which means if my body has Chetana Jivatma, it has come from my mother. My mother also has a Jivatma within her. So a Chetana Vastu gives rise to an other Chetana Vastu. An Achetana Vastu gives rise to an Achetana. Iron, other metals you take, that will give rise to this mic. This mic is Achetana. The basic elements will also be Achetana. So Achetana gives rise to Achetana. Chetana gives rise to Chetana. But when we speak of the world, it has a combination of Achetana and Chetana. Who is responsible for both Achetana and Chetana? Paramatma. Who is he? Chetana. So if the formula is be careful. Chetana gives rise to Chetana, like how my mother has given rise to me. And Achetana has given rise to Achetana, where the raw materials has given rise to this finished product. Then, how can Paramatma, who is also Chetana, give rise to both Chetana and Achetana? Don't worry. Some people take it very seriously. How it, is, how it is given rise? This was a big question asked to Bhagavad Ramanuja during his times, thousand years before. So he cl clarifies this in Sri Bhashya. He says, not necessary that everything has to follow the general rule. There will be an exception to the general rule. In maths, we often use Lapital rule. In mathematics, right? If 0 by 0 is indeterminate, we differentiate them in the numerator and denominator separately. Sin x will become cos x, x will become 1. So it will become cos 0 which is 1. So there is an exception to the general rule. So what Ramanuja says is, there are occasions where Chetana gives rise to an Achetana and Achetana gives rise to a Chetana. He gives two examples. One, let us take a scorpion. Generally, we have two categories in zoology. One is oviparous and the second is viviparous. For example, birds come from their mothers as eggs. And egg incubates and then hatches to a chick. So there is a two-stage process. From the mother, the chick doesn't come directly. There is an egg. And from the egg comes a chick. They are oviparous. We are all viviparous. Our mother did not lay eggs somewhere and then we did not incubate. And come. We came directly from our mother's sack. But scorpions are ovo viviparous, wherein there is the little scorpion inside the egg, but the egg doesn't come out of the mother, it stays within the mother. So if the chick has to come out, the little scorpion has to come out, it has to break open the egg and it has to tear open the mother's body. So for that, the mother scorpion needs proper heat. But where will she go? A bird will supply heat to the egg. But here the egg is within her. So she needs external heat. So in those days when houses used to have cows in their backyard, there used to be a cow shed. And cows, very good to have cows. The only problem is they'll keep uh, putting cow dung. So when the cow dung comes, it will be hot. So the mother scorpion would exactly know the strategic location where that cow dung will come. So it will go and settle itself there. Then when the cow dung falls on it, with the heat from the cow dung, it will use and the little scorpion will come out. So for the passerby or the onlooker, after some time he will see one achetana vastu called as the cow dung. And the little scorpion which is chetana coming out of it. So there is an example in Pratyaksham to prove that Chetana comes rise of Achetana. On the other hand, when Narasimha deployed his nails, nails grow. There is some Chaitanyam is what we will believe. But science says it is a conglomeration of dead cells except the cuticle. So Achetana nail comes rise of the Chaitanya body. So, Nisimha came out of the pillar. Nisimha is Chetana coming out of the pillar which is Achetana. Nisimha is Chetana and Nail is Achetana. So, Achetana to Chetana to Achetana, there is a cycle. So, this proves that how much ever you try, we try. Like how Hiranyakashipu tried to win over death is not possible because nature will find its own way to get annihilated of a person. 
Nobody has, you can say, is permanently lived. Even when the Lord chooses to be born as Rama and Krishna, he had to leave the world one day. So this is the message of Rasamavatara. Now let's go to Gajendra Moksha. Parikshit asked, Badara yana yetatte shrotum icham hevayam harir yatha gajapatim graha grastamamu chuchat tatkatha sumahat punyam dhanyam swastyayanam shubham yatra yatottama shloko bhagavan giyate harihi Parikshit asked, Shukabrahmam, I have heard about an elephant being caught in the jaws of a very ferocious crocodile. And I have heard from my ancestors that the Lord came on the eagle to help rescue that elephant from the jaws of the crocodile. Can you please narrate this to me? He asked. Incidentally, yesterday in the Twitter, I saw one of our Indian IFS officers who has posted a video. A small, I don't know how many of you saw, a small puddle. There, the, the little baby elephant goes to play with the waters. How many of you saw this? Ah, see, many of you have seen. Others, you can ask them, they will share. So, this mother elephant comes and it tries to play with the baby in the waters. Suddenly, a crocodile which has been quietly hiding into the waters comes and it wants to kill this baby elephant. The mother elephant plays the role of a mother. She try, She does everything to rescue the baby elephant and the crocodile runs away. So the climax of Gajendra Moksham did not happen there. But remember, this narration which Shukha Brahmam gives is as if we are watching a National Geographic channel and he tells how an animal kills the other animal. But where it turns into Bhagavatam, I will tell you in about 12 minutes from now. So here the description begins about, you know, when it is poetry, they will get over poetic. They will talk about hills, three peaks, one like resembling gold, one resembling silver, all this. Because it's poetry, you have to describe and exaggerate. Otherwise, there's no poetry if you say, speak the truth, um, um, uh, narrate or say the way it is. Then it is not poetry. I'll give you an example of poetry. Um, during the times of Kalidasa, again this is an anecdote, the timelines could vary. During the times of Kalidasa, there were other great poets in Sanskrit. It is not that Kalidasa was the only poet. There were great other great poets. But the newspapers used to cover good op-eds and nice articles only on Kalidasa. Other poets, they will cover small passages in page number 29. So, one of the poets who was deeply affected because of this media attention on Kalidasa was Dandi. Dandi was a great poet. He got extremely upset. He said, Kalidasa, even I write good poems like you. Why should you alone be celebrated? Kalidasa said, I see, I am not paying anything to the media. They are writing, what can I do? So then Dandi and Kalidasa thought that we should go and get the judgment from Bhavabhuti, another great poet. If he let him judge, who amongst us is the better poet? So Kalidasa and Dandi go to the house of Bhavabhuti. But they knock at the door of Bhavabhuti, expecting that Bhavabhuti will come and open the door. Instead, his five-year-old granddaughter came and opened the door. She opened the door and she said, Grandfather has gone out. He'll come in some time. It had it been my daughter, she would have, after seeing this, she would have closed the door and come back. <laughs> it was Bhavabhuti's granddaughter. So she said, okay, please be seated. In those days, there was an architectural marvel to construct elevated platforms on either sides of the main door outside the house. You can entertain your guests there and you can ask them to go. <laughs> So on either side, Kalidasa was made to sit. On the other side, Dandi was made to sit. This girl asked, what can I bring for you? You will ask, somebody comes to your house, you will ask. I cannot come to your house. <laughs> so, immediately he asked, this girl asked, what can I get for you? Kalidasa says, Patrani Swarnavarnani Karanan Tayacha Lochani 
பத்ராணி பகுவச்சன சப்தம் பத்ராணி மீன்ஸ் மெனி லீவ்ஸ் வாட் ஆர் தோஸ் லீவ்ஸ் பீட்டில் லீவ்ஸ் பத்ராணி பீட்டி மாடிஃபைட் லீவ்ஸ் ஸ்வர்ணவர்ணி கோல்ட் கலர் பீட்டில் லீவ்ஸ் ஸோ ஐ டோன் நோ யூ மே கெட் இட் இன் காஸ்கோ ட்ரெயில் ஸோ கோல்ட் கலர் பீட்டில் லீவ்ஸ் பத்ராணி ஸ்வர்ணவர்ணி கர்ணாந்தாய லோச்சனே த ஒன் ஹூஸ் ஐஸ் எக்ஸ்டென்ட் இல் த இயர்ஸ் விட்ஸ் டெக்னிக்கலி இஃப் யூஆர் அ டான்சர் யூ ஷுட் ப்ரே காட் யூ ஷுட் கெட் ஐஸ் லைக் தட் லார்ஜ் ஐஸ் யூ ஷுட் ஹேவ் இஃப் நாட் யூ கேன் எக்ஸ்டெண்ட் யுவர் அஞ்சனம் டில் தேர் ஐ டெக்ஸ் யூ கேன் எக்ஸ்டெண்ட் டில் தேர் பத்ராணி ஸ்வர்ணவர்ணி கர்ணா லோச்சனி காளிதாச செட் and dandi said see you're getting beetle leaves for that we cannot have beetle leaves just like that we need a churnam so she, he said turnam aniyatam churnam purna chandra nibhanane turnam quickly simple ah kettu to poi class ha turnam aniyatam churnam purna chandra nibhanane the one whose face looks like the full moon பூரணச்சந்திரபூதி Incidentally, he was walking back. He saw this door open, this little girl coming with beetle leaf and churnam. He asked, whom are you getting this for? He didn't see Kalidasa and Dandi seated. She said, Kavayaha Kalidasaya Dandinaha Panditasyacha. I am bringing this for the great poet Kalidasa and the great grammarian Dandi. <laughs> Judgment given. how did this girl judge they had come for a judgment from the grandfather but how did this girl judge because in poetry you essentially don't have to be bothered about the sentence construct technically in sentence you should have a subject and a predicate s plus p predicate distributes itself into verb and object because you need an object to the subject and the verb what that subject does with that object is the verb and then that object will get divided into indirect object and direct object and then what verb you use whether you use it in past participle past continuous present present continuous gerund infinitive all that will come into position a poet will not be bothered about all of this a grammarian will be bothered he has to get that one mark per sentence so he will check if everything is there what kalidasa said patrani swarnavarnani leaves of golden color karnantaya chalochane the one whose eyes extend till the years leaf of golden color this is all he said he was a poet but dandi he said get he said churnam the paste the one whose face is like the full moon fetch me that churnam fetch it is a verb So this girl had a formula if you use a verb you're a grammarian minus the verb you're a poet so she said kavayaha kalidasaya dandinaha panditasya cha now so poetry is integral to sanatana dharma ramayana itself is called adi kavyam so because of this exaggeration we should strip all these exaggerations and see the main thing because people will say will there be a golden peak silver peak just like that is now nobody is going to clean and then put argentum ag at the top of one peak so this is a mountain called trikuta by the foothills you had one lake nice trees one elephant came normal national geographic channel one elephant came large elephant when i talk of elephants i cannot not speak about the beautiful kshetram parashurama kshetram of kerala I give many lectures in Kerala in different parts. There is a festival in Trishur called Puram Festival. You know, we all talk about pets. There are all huge elephants will come. 100-200 elephants will come. And there is one elephant which has got 7 cases against it. 7 criminal cases. Can you tell me what is the name of that elephant? Yandana. 
പേര് പറയാം അല്ല ഗജേന്ദ്രൻ ഭാഗവതമാണല്ലോ പിന്നെ ആയിട്ട് പറയാം കേശവൻ അതിക്ക് പോയി അത് ഗുരുവായൂരിൽ പോയി രാമചന്ദ്രൻ ഹി ഹസ് ഗോട്ട് എ ഫേസ്ബുക്ക് പേജ് നോക്കാം ദ ടെലിഫോൺ ഹാസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗോട്ട് സെവൻ കേസസ് ഇറ്റ് ഹസ് കിൽഡ് സോ മെനി പീപ്പിൾ ലെറ്റ് ദേ വിൽ യൂസ് പീപ്പിൾ വിൽ ടേക്ക് സെൽഫി വിത്ത് ഇറ്റ് now this elephant gajendra came with a few other female elephants this elephant with no thought of presenting flowers generally we are told he wanted to do archana to the lord all no archana no arvi nothing so he wanted to come to the pond just like that and he went kept his foot like how an elephant goes into the pond it plucked one of the newly blossomed flowers and kept it in its trunk and all the others are taking photo you know this st- there should be a style way you can take it. we have people who will, they will rotate this specs and then they will put you know you have many actors in our country they will do like this. i tried this it broke so it comes only for certain people only are blessed with such great style some are commander in chief some are heads you know you don't know head is talai commander in chief തളപതി ദേ ഓൾ ഗെറ്റ് പുരുഷ സുക്ത അഭിഷേകം ദേ വിൽ ദേ വിൽ പുട്ട് മിൽക്ക് ഓവർ ദം സഹസ്ര ശീർഷ പുരുഷ സഹസ്രാക്ഷ സഹസ്രപാദ സഭൂമി വിശ്വതോ വൃത്വാത്യതിഷ്ഠദശാങ്കുലം സോ ദിസ് എലിഫൻറ്റ് പ്ലക്ട് വൺ ഓഫ് ദോസ് ഫ്ലവേഴ്സ് നോർമൽ ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ ദ ഫീമെയിൽ എലിഫൻറ്റ്സ് വെരി എക്സ്ട്രീംലി ഹാപ്പി and now the elephant finally it has to come out of the waters of the pond while it was about to come three legs were out while it was about to take the fourth foot out it couldn't it check what had happened its foot was caught in the jaws of a crocodile it occurs in forests if you go to you oh, know masai mara wa uh, you will see migration of animals all this is a regular thing there this is not something they will say what is a shuka brahma has written 100 shlokas waste of time every day we see correct so this elephant came this it was caught by the jaws of a crocodile sir for this why should you waste our good thursday evening why all this is featured in bhagavatam till now it is normal description now this elephant suffers at the hands of the crocodile normal now the elephant is reminded of its previous janma this is where it turns into bhagavatam yesterday i spoke about one person called jada bharata i said he was jada bharata in two janmas previous to that but he was able to remember each of the janmas and the bhakti yogam who are what are such people called very good jati smaraha jati smaraha are unique individuals who can manage to remember segments of their previous births so this elephant was essentially a king called indradyumna indradyumnah pandya khandadi rajastvad bhaktatma chandana draukada chit ത്വസേവയാം മഗ്നധീരാലുലോകേ നൈവാഗസ്ത്യം പ്രാപ്തമാതിഥ്യകാമം ഭട്ടദ്രി ടെൽസ് നാരായണീയം ദർ വാസ് എ കിങ് ഓഫ് പാണ്ഡ്യദേശം ഇന്ദ്രദ്യുമ്ന വാട്ട് വാസ് ഇസ് നെയിം ഇന്ദ്രദ്യുമ്ന പാണ്ഡ്യ ഖണ്ഡാദി രാജ ഹി വാസ് ദ വൺ ഹു റൂൾ ദിസ് ടെറിറ്ററി ഓഫ് പാണ്ഡ്യദേശം ഹി വാസ് എ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഡിവോട്ടി ഓഫ് ദ ലോട്ട് ത്വദ്ഭക്താത്മ ഗ്രേറ്റ് മഹാത്മ ഹി വാസ് one day he was doing chandanadrav kadachit near chandanadri he was doing archana to the lord vishvaya namaha vishnave namaha vashatkaraya namaha bhuta bhavya prabhave namaha putatmane namaha paramatmane namaha he was doing archana he was seated aradhana shalagramam is here he is doing archana that time the soldiers as he was doing archana they said raja agastya maharishi has come agastya was originally in the north then because of parvati's wedding shiva said you go to the south and agastya came as agastya came agastya was very short he was a dwarf generally there is, that's a disorder it's called dwarfism 
right? So the pituitary gland would have not functioned or malfunctioned, they won't grow. So this Agastya came, great Maharishi but very short, he came. To worship Agastya you should not stand up, you should be seated because then only you can meet the eye. Now as Agastya Maharishi was coming, this person Indra Dhyumna who was performing Archana, Vishnave Namaha, Madhusudana Namaha, Trivikrama Namaha, Vamana Namaha, Sridhara Namaha, Rishi Kesha Namaha, Padmanabha Namaha. What? We do that, right? We should be frank. Don't we do that? Because we are worried if we stop, then we won't know where we have stopped. <laughs> that is our problem. Right? So we will continue, but we will do all these Abhinayam. This, that, that. This is all this Raja did. He didn't do anything bad, nothing abusive. He just welcomed Agastya by nodding his head. Agastya felt humiliated. Who dare you nod your head and welcome me? You shall be born as an animal that keeps nodding its head. Naiva agastyam praptamatitya kamam. For such things, if people have to curse, how many curses we have to get in one day? Kumbod bhutihi sambhrita krodha bharaha. Stabdhatmatvam hasti bhuyam bhajeti. Shaptva chainam pratyagat sopi lebe hastindratvam tvatsmrati vyakti dhanyam. Now, this is the flashback. Now, we are going like Benjamin case, that curious case of Benjamin Button. We are going back and forth. Now, this is the flashback of the elephant. Now, the elephant was reminded of its previous janma of having offered obeisances to the Lord through odes and hymns such as this. Now, who is this crocodile? This crocodile has one flashback. Now, there was a Gandharva. He went into the waters and he was playing. He went into the waters. While he was going, he saw one stand-like structure and he pulled. It was actually the leg of a Rishi. This Rishi fell. He had a L3 problem. Rishi said, since you are doing acts like an animal that stays underwater and pulls people secretly, you shall be born as a crocodile. Now we know the flashback of the crocodile, flashback of the elephant. Now both these came together, both their flashbacks come together. So destiny put this elephant and the crocodile together. This crocodile started pulling. Of course, Bhagavatam tells how many years they fought. All that is not relevant to us. Now this elephant was reminded of its previous janma. When it thought that all its efforts to excuse and rescue itself had failed, it thought there is no other way but to seek the presence and the intervention of the divine. Then it started singing praises of the Lord through a stuti called Gajendra stuti. It's very famous in Bhagavatam. Now our traditional Upanyasakas whom I have heard, elderly people whom all you have heard, they would stay this. Then the elephant started singing praises of the Lord. Om Namo Bhagavate Tasmai Yetat Yetat Chidatmakam It started singing. But there is a technical problem here. Traditional Upanyasakas used to say this. Apo, Rendran, Padinanam, Ade, Kotutu, they will say. But the problem is, how can an elephant sing in Samskritam? Sing. Samskritam. Shlokam. All, sir, how is it possible then? You know, some of our traditional people will say, don't ask such questions. <laughs> that elephant did. This is where we need to do some homework. Communication need not have to be always oral. We say communicate. What we generally mean is speak. Speaking is not essentially the only way to communicate. Yes, it is a very effective tool. Undoubtedly, speaking is as a tool in communication is one of the most effective ways. But not necessary that speaking is the only tool. In that case, a child which is still about two or three can't even speak. Does it mean that the child is not communicating? It still communicates in its own way. 
If we say that speaking alone, the way we perceive speaking is the only way of communicating, then animals don't communicate as per this definition. Everyone, nature communicates. But in its own way. What is that own way? See, for example, how many of you have pits? Don't look at me. How many of you have pits? Ah. So you will know when your pet is upset with you, when it wants food. Does it communicate openly? I am hungry. Please give me food. No. You will look at the body language of the pet and you will be able to decipher that the pet is hungry. The pet is upset. Suppose you have gone out for two days. The pet. Some pets don't even eat food. They will be waiting for your arrival. So animals have their own ways of communicating. So does a child. When the child cries and the mother comes, that cry, that intensity of the crying disappears. Half of it disappears just looking at the mother. The mother is able to communicate to the child. So the elephant essentially did not open its mouth through VFX and started singing. What that elephant thought in its mind about the Lord has been composed as shloka by Shukha Brahmam because Shukha Brahmam could mind read the elephant. Are you able to understand? This is where the shlokam begins. Om Namo Bhagavate Tasmaye Tatyetat Chidatmakam Purushaya Adi Bijaya Pareshaya Abhidhi Mahe Yasmin Nidam Yetat Chedam Yene Dam Cha Idam Swayam Yosmat Parasma Cha Parastam Prapadye Swayam Bhuvam The one who has gone beyond the realms and the boundaries of space and time. Why? Bhuta Bhavya Bhavat Prabhu. Paramatma has to live at all points in time. You cannot say, sir, till yesterday he was not living. Today he was born. That's all. Then he won't know what all happened in the past. Sir, sir, till today he is there. From tomorrow, I don't know whether he will survive or not. No. He has to live through all periods of time. He has to live everywhere. That is why we say, Sahasra Shirushaf Purushaha, Sahasra Kshaha Sahasra Path. Purusha Suktam, this is called Drishtavidhi, illustration. We should not take thousand as thousand and fit thousand heads and see. Sahasra Shiras means thousand heads. Technically, if we keep thousand heads, then we have to keep two thousand eyes. There is only mention of thousand eyes. Then he will be like oh, Kabali. <laughs> One eye. The evil lens you see in the movie, no? What it means is he has got thousands and thousands of eye because an eye is meant to see, perceive, perception. But I can't see what is beyond these walls because my eye has its own limitation. When I say that the Lord whom we perceive as Paramatma has thousands and thousands of eyes, it means he has eyes everywhere. So he is a witness to what you see and think. That is the purport of this explanation. Sarvavyapakatva, he is pervaded everywhere. Avyayaha purushaha sakshi tell sahasranama. He is a witness to what all we think. See, Generally, if a person has to discard something like dirt and there is no dustbin close by, we will do it. It is good to us. You know, when I used to go for lectures to the Middle East, Dubai, Dubai Abu Dhabi is commutable through road. This takes about an hour or hour and a half. Interestingly, my the person who used to drive me from Dubai to Abu Dhabi, in certain places, he'll just go. I don't. I won't even know if the wheel is there touching the ground. He'll fly, literally fly. Then suddenly he'll become normal. Then I used to ask, why sir, what is this? No, I know where the cameras are. <laughs> but Paramatma is not like that. Whether you're in your washroom, whether you're in your bedroom, he is the unseen CCTV camera. He keeps seeing what all we do. So we give these statements, right? We put ourselves into the self-piteous mold, right? We are not that innocent. And this level of our criminality will be known only to him. Avyayaha, Purushaha, Sakshi. We can cheat people around us, dupe them. But who will cheat him? So this elephant started crying. The one who has gone beyond time and space, come and protect me. That is when our Acharyas use this word, Naham, Naham, Nachaham, says Ammar, Vatsya Varada Guru. 
that is when he said the one who is the cause there are two words associated with this moolam moola mooleti chinne moolam means root cause aadi means the first cause aadi moola means the one who is the cause who doesn't have a cause for himself he is the causeless cause so this elephant said aadi moolam but you know in those days if the hero has to jump from the mountain he'll say reka 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 <laughs> then he will jump that echo has to come so here the elephant said aadi moolam 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 so the word moolam was only echoed that aadi did not come see generally in singing i'm telling you i know many vidwan they are good friends not every kirtana sahityam will be known to you perfectly so there are nice ways you can hover around if you do not know therilenu chungo avladha indira ramana indira you can do that and and edathla ra varda pa varda he won't know so this elephant was a bit doubtful about adi adi moola me moola me so this moolam was heard by brahma so brahma said this elephant is calling me personally saraswati get my lunch pack she said you pack it yourself he, he he made something some dish and put it in his tiffin box then it was heard by lord shiva and kailasha he too packed and he called nandi nandi was busy somewhere he said nandi come we have to go and he sat on nandi parvati he said take care i'll miss you see ya world is very small let's me no these two left and um, indra he told shachi devi shachi i have to go call airavat so airavat ki it is the name of the bus in cambodia so airavat ki so they all came in cambodia van yaar beta nidana chumma chonnenda ambo kon serious a eduthu so now they all started now that first word was echoed aadi 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 now then brahma said oh no it's aadi moolam i am not the first cause and he came back and shiva also retracted he said see it is aadi moolam so he came back and uh, indra also went back now after going back see generally i don't know the practice here in india when i used to study food used to be packed my mother used to give and incidentally if the president or prime minister if they pass away then we'll get one day holiday then they will send us back home so we'll be extremely happy we are not enjoying their death but in a way we have come back home but my mother will not cook anything for me she'll say eat that what is packed so same curd rice i have to eat now the same was served to brahma and shiva so it was just like any other day now when shri vaikuntham this was heard aadi moolam now you see see again we should see it from a larger perspective when the devotee calls for help the lord is there we should not immediately our sound waves travel slower than light waves where will it go to vaikuntham how many how many yojanas it is light years away it is all this we should not do that calculation we should know how to read poetry and understand the underlying message that is the beauty of a great devotee now the lord is sleeping how is he sleeping in vaikuntham that itself is a great joy lakshmi will be pressing his leg thai massage <laughs> Huh? Comfortable sleeping. See, will you sleep also? See, sleeping itself is a divine blessing. For people who suffer with no sleep, they will know the value of sleep. You will feel so bad when others are sleeping and you are not getting sleep. Ya puri thungara paan. Kada kertinde thungara. So. see when i i travel see well i used to hinge kadaye ni varamaatenga 
well i used to be a kid and i used to go to my grandfather's place grand grandparents place they used to look at the panchangam and check if it is the right day to go they used to check the panchangam and send so they will check if it is ashtami tithi navami tithi bharani krittika nakshatram and then they would send so they would look at the panchangam and then they will send the child out but today my life is so such where i keep traveling to go to my house i have to look at the panchangam <laughs> If, is it ashtami navami huh? so my sleep see today i have flights at odd hours so i have to wake up if it is a 5 o'clock flight you all call that night flight red day flight right so if it is a red day flight if it is like 3 o'clock in the morning i have to wake up by 12 because invariably the city will be somewhere the airport will be somewhere so if it is 12 o'clock then i have to keep the alarm at 12 9 o'clock I'll sleep, 10 o'clock I'll wake up. I'll check if it is 12, then 11 o'clock I'll wake up. 11.30 I'll wake up at Sinti and I'll check if the alarm is working or not. <laughs> then I will give alarm to that alarm at 12. <laughs> is this sleep? Sleep means if you sleep in the night, next morning when you wake up, you should have realized 10 hours have passed. The Lord is sleeping like that. Now, the moment he heard the wail, the cry of the elephant, ಹಸ್ತಾಂಬುಜೇಭ್ಯಸ್ತಾಂಬುಜೇಭ್ಯಸ್ತಾಂಬುಜೇಭ್ಯಸ್ತಾಂಬುಜೇಭ್ಯ
the Lord got up. Then he asked his chakram, that is his attendant. He said, chakram is not there. You, you have I forgotten that in Vaikuntha? Right. Many of you would have forgotten that notes in your house. And we don't take, sir. Why? <laughs> so he said, where is the chakram? By then the chakram had gone and done its job. So what is the point here? First I will talk about this, then I will see the philosophy within it. So it had done its job because chakram should do its job well because it should not end up cutting the elephant's foot also. Because the elephant foot is inside the jaw, jaws of the crocodile. So if it cuts in the wrong way, then that elephant foot will also be cut, causing more damage to the elephant. So it has to cut at that strategic position where the jaws could be opened, the elephant's foot could be retrieved. Now, how did Sudarshana go even without the Lord even commanding it go? Because in Agama Shastram, Sudarshana, one means very beautiful to look at. Sudarshana, very handsome. It also comes from the root word Saudarshanam, which in Agama means the divine will of the Lord. What does its divine will mean? Sankalpa Shakti is called Saudarshanam. What does it mean? I will give you an example to understand this. Imagine I go, I have a house in the third floor, no elevator to my building. On the day of Amavasya, power cut. I think, what is that called? Earth hour. Earth hour, then they will switch off all the lights. So all lights are switched off. It is Amavasya Ratri, no charge in my phone, no source of light anywhere. And I have to walk up the stairs till the third floor and reach my house. I can still do it because I have been doing it every day. So I know the steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I reach my door, I open. I have been doing this every day. I know the number of steps. I don't need anybody to guide me. Even in the absence of light, I can walk. Imagine I have befriended the Lord. The Lord says, I am very happy with you, Dushyant. I want to come to your house. Please, please come. And I take him along. Same Amavasya Ratri, no charge in his phone also, my phone also. We have to walk. Now the Lord doesn't know how many steps are there. I know there are 10. So after the 10th step, it's simple platform, I will just walk. Whereas the Lord may assume that after the 10th step, there is 11th step. We have had this. Have you faced this? So at times when you go to an unknown place where there is no light, only when the foot hits hard on the surface, you'll know that the steps have stopped. Correct. So imagine the Lord too has this problem what we have faced and after the 10th step, he keeps the next foot assuming there is a step while there is none. That time the step will appear. That is called divine will. The Lord doesn't have to. This is the point Vedanta says. When the, we say the world is created, he won't literally sit with earth, some stones and then put all of them together. Okay, this is called Los Altos Hills. <laughs> Take some water, put some NaCl in the right proportion, ah, sea water, put that into Pacific. He won't do that. Creation is not a physical activity to the Lord. Vedam says it is mental. It's his divine will. Bahusyam prajayeti. Let the world be created. Is creation in Sanatana Dharma. Understand this. It's not a physical activity. He'll bring this together, that together, cook, boil a few things together and then put them back into the crust of the earth and then say, let it stay as magma there. Let it come out as lava in one of the islands of Indonesian archipelago nation. Let it come out as... All this he won't do. It is natural. Now this divine will of the Lord exceeds the Lord's power. That is why even before the Lord could say, his divine will came and protected. That is why, while celebrating Gajendra Moksham, the Lord who rescued the wailing elephant from the jaws of a crocodile, Parashara Bhatta says, Bhagavata Stvarayai Namaha, I will not salute the Lord. I will not salute the Lord. He says, I will salute at the speed with which the Lord came. Bhagavata Stvarayai Namaha. He celebrates now the elephant's leg is taken out. Now which got moksham first? Crocodile. Elephant got it later. So what is the secret to moksham? You have to go bite the foot of some devotee. 
Now the Lord, he rescued the elephant's foot and uh, gave whatever first aid is possible to the elephant and finally said, bring your trunk down. Give that flower. You wanted this flower to be given to me. For this you had to undergo so much of pain. I told you at the start, the elephant had no such intent. <laughs> right? But the Lord always thinks every activity of ours is aimed at Him. And He always feels that we are venerating Him. So that is the secret. Now, the Gajendra Moksham happened. And uh, all these namas, Shabdasaha, Shishiraha, Sharvarikaraha, Akruraha, all this comes in Sahasranamam. And this is all reminiscent of this particular avatara. Thirumangai Alvar celebrates. Meenamar poigai, nanmalar koivan, vedkai nodu, shennalindu, kanamar vedam, kaiyadu thalara, karadan, kalinai kaduva, anayin, tuyaram thira, pullurundu, shennalindu, aali tottani, tenamar sholai, madama, mailai, thiruvallikkeni, kandene. So he talks about Gajendra Varada, all our Acharyas. Oh, Gajendra Moksham is the most used description by all our Vagayakaras. Gaj ko jab grah graso dushasan chira graso sabhabich krishna krishna dropadi pukari says Surdas. So Mirabai Gajendra Govinda Nama Saram Gajendra Rakshana Dhiram says Muthuswami Dikshita um, and uh, so does um, Purandara Dasa Purandara Dasa has his own witty way of saying you have not come and protected me or protected the elephant how much commission did he give <laughs> I will give that Kariraja Yeshtu Kotano Helo Hariye Yake you came and protected Prahlada yesterday at 8 o'clock. How much gold did he give? How much gold did he give? Now, Parikshit says, fine, I am done with Gajendra Moksh. Now, let's go to Kurmavatar. Now, let's go to Kurmavataram. In Kurmavataram, it begins with Durvasa. You have heard of this Rishi called Durvasa? Many Durvasas are there. <laughs> Those who get angry unnecessarily and with whom we can't stay together are Durvasa. Durvasa. You can't do Vasam with them. So many houses have Durvasas. <laughs> Durvasa suravani tapta divya malyam. My grandmother used to say, Durvasa vardu. <laughs> Shakraya swayam upadaya tatra bhuyaha nagendra pratimrudite shashapa shakram kakshanti stvadidara deva tamshajanam. This Durvasa, he got one vanamalyam, a divine garland as a prasadam. See, this is another problem. When we go to any, I don't know about the temples here. You have wonderful temples. Temples you've got. So imagine I'm talking about my experience in Bharata Desha. If we go to a temple, generally our concentration should be on the God, the divinity of the Lord, the divinity of the Kshetram, the architecture. But it will also be on the people who have come there. Our devotion is at a different level. But the point is, suppose the priest, he, he knows one devotee who has come and he calls them closer to the Garbhagraha and he garlands them. See, natural human tendency in us, how much ever I say Bhagavatam, how much ever you listen to Bhagavatam, wish he had given that garland to me also. Won't we have that thought? Natural, correct. If you have not got, you are the 14th Alva, 13th Alva. <laughs> Okay, natural, normal, mundane, primitive, mortal human being will have this thought. Why can't? But the problem is, we will desire that we should get that mala. But the moment he gives that mala, the next problem is where to keep it. That is where we will search. Where did the Pallavas and Cholas construct some hole? 
when uh, when we are doing pradakshina if a hole is found if nobody is there we'll dump it there and come same is the case with durvasa he got the mala prasadam of mahalakshmi through a vidyadhara stri durvasa got it now where will he keep it he doesn't have a permanent address also where will he go and hang it so he saw indra coming in a divine celestial elephant called airavata so he said indra take this garland now indra had to get down from the elephant and then take that's going to take little time so he said airavat take it now airavata along with, with using his trunk kept that like a hook so the garland was hung around that trunk and the airavata took the garland up and placed it on its mastakam the mastakam of an asian elephant will have a wave whereas an african elephant will not have for now let's assume it was an asian elephant it had a mastakam and the gap he placed that mala you know certain malas are very disturbing if they are extremely fragrant effervescent and natural flowers bees will hover around them in many places when they garland me the bees will come i'll keep it i am not karna angam harehe pulaka bhushanam ashrayanti bhringhangane eva mukula bharanam tamalam mahalakshmi can what if it stings me to keep it in certain malas you will have thorns it will prick you so now this mala was very disturbing to the elephant and it shook his head and that el- the garland fell and it stamped trampled on that particular mala and durvasa was witness to this and you know about durvasa's anger you don't need a proper reason for him to get angry at all if you just tell him now get angry he'll get angry instant ochundur kochi mama so immediately he said mad maddatta bhavata yasmat kshipta mala mahitale tasmat pranashta lakshmi kam trilokyam te bhavishyati whatever is you causing giving you this prosperity and thereby arrogance which was natural in indra all that will go away so what all he had as means and to showcase his prosperity vanished in thin air he had a wish yielding gem called as chintamani outside his house it was like an ethnic stone it will give whatever you want he had some divine cows called kamadenu nandini surabi they were all at the backyard they all went into the woods then he used to have one divine tree and a creeper called kalpakam and parijatam if you go and ask it will give you. you don't have to indrani and indra never cooked they have to tell the menu to the tree the previous day uh, they have to tell lasagna and pasta <laughs> next day it will, that will also ask whether you want white sauce or with olives and the jalapeno then it will ask what are you allergic to uh, all that it will say vegan no we had vegan options also so all that went away now with every sign of prosperity disappearing all that he had invested went away stocks went southwards <laughs> everything went away then they went to brahma and brahma i told you the day one itself brahma will worry along with them <laughs> so he said see the only way is i i found from footages that all the signs of your prosperity have gone into deep waters in marina trench they are 10348 meters below the sea level they are there to retrieve them you have to churn the ocean who will guide us let's go to narayana purusham purusha suktena they recited purusha suktam the lord said see now you have to use a strategy with the manpower you have you can't do it you need to have an understanding with your half brothers the asuras you are all suras sura you are vijay asura you have to go to asura you have to go to dhanush with that you have to churn so and that is when the lord said see whatever they say you have to agree pre election alliances you should say yes yes so you you start churning that is when they had to bring that mountain called mandara and the churning rod rope was vasuki a snake vasuki came from kashmir this churning of the ocean 
is so important that it finds mention in almost all the granthas in balakandam ramayanam rama listens to samudra manthanam in balakandam from vishwamitra in shri mahabharatam in the 18 parvas the first parva called adi parva there is a mention of samudra manthanam vishnu puranam there is samudra manthanam in uh, Bhagavatam, there is Samudra Manthanam. In Arvars versus Samudra Manthanam. In the work by a Jina, a Jain, he was called Ilanko. He wrote one work 2000 years back on the story of the lost anklet. What is it called? Silapadigaram. In that, there is a mention of Vadavarayayimat. ಮಾಯಮೋ so this finds mention it goes even till the land of kambuja desham called cambodia today one of the panels which is 216 feet long by khmer dynasty is the samudra manthana very important scene how it happened is another question whether it's logically tenable to have one hill in the middle of the water wouldn't it sink all that is different but it finds mention in all our granthas those of you who have been to thailand will be welcomed in the airport of suvarna bhumi by samudra manthana drishya any bridge in cambodia will have vasuki snake any bridge in cambodia and siam reap because there is a river called siam reap and it is believed that the river goes to a certain distance and meanders and comes back and goes around the lake in a circular fashion so the people were reminded of this natural event and related that to kurma avataram so anything in cambodia will have kurma avataram so now they had to churn now as the devas devas went to the tail portion asuras went to the head portion they started churning as they started teamwork they started doing it now the first came hala halam garalam taralanalam purastad Jaladhehe Udvijagala Kalakootam So this Kalakootam came, it started floating on the waters. You must have seen a lot of these uh, oil ships sink. So the oil will stay on the water. So this dark fluid of virulent poison floated on the waters. It was, it was so viscous. Its viscosity was much different. So it couldn't go as how milk gets into water as a colloid it couldn't go it couldn't dissolve completely it was floating on the water so the devas and asuras whenever something is not consumable they said no no we are not interested but see, only if you take this away the other things will come out see today they are going to serve pal paisam did they tell you no krishna avatar okay in pal paisam there is a way of doing it you have to you cannot just leave i don't know you have, now you have got brahma srishti insta pot <laughs> whatever you want you can do in that they say sir whatever you want you do it will cook i said will it eat no that you can do it will cook and eat also then what we will have to eat so while doing pal pai some kheer you, technically you have to be next to it and every time there is a layer of cream that's formed you have to push it to the ends then it becomes rabdi you heard of rabdi lallu's wife <laughs> now now they churned the ocean now this poison had to be consumed who will come neelakantha dikshita one of the relatives to appai dikshita says in his beautiful work neelakantha vijaya champu he says na khalvatmana sachivoktam itte vadaraniyam paraswichoktam itiva pariharaniyam dhimatam dhireva sachiva so lord shiva came he said it's okay i will take that poison bhatadri tells why did shiva want to do this see generally why will you volunteer bhavat priyartham he says in narayaniyam 
he wanted to impress upon the lord of guruvayur it seems patadri everything was guruvayur so shiva because shiva is very close by to a kshetram called mammiyur so he said he wanted to make friends with his neighbor love thy neighbor he said for you i will take poison also now he started consuming then there is a folklore around that that parvati was informed about this she came running and she held his throat you have heard of this one poet says he 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 uses ninda stuti and says one poison is going outside she is choking him uh, what will lord shiva do so then it stayed here and he had that scar of neela neela grivaya says shri rudra drape andha saspate daridra neela lohita says shri rudra but there is a verse in saundarya lahari which says what protected shiva parvati did not want to come personally it seems garalam yatkshvelam kabalitavata kala kalana na shambho stanmulam tava janani tatanka mahima he says her earrings were enough the divinity and the auspiciousness associated with parvati's earrings were enough to give shiva longevity she didn't have to come personally tava janani tatanka mahima so now he became nilagriva then after that the now mountain started sinking lot of problems in this journey now how will now these people were already exhausted they were given ors they were exhausted now somebody had to support the mountain from the beneath now it started floating again oh what has happened the lord came as kurma now vedanta deshika asks why did the lord come as kurma what is the reason he says the lord wanted to scratch his back you know scratching your back is a very good pastime you try it you also get such long pencils with that adi sesha you can do this so the lord wanted to scratch but you know people will talk about his image sir your vishnu vaikunth ke vishnu hai aap aap aise kar pa कर सकते हैं क्या मीडिया क्या बोलेगी बरका और राजदीप क्या बोलेंगे इमीडिएटली द लॉर्ड सेट सो आई हैव टू इनकारनेट एज अ टॉटस सो द नर्व एंडिंग्स ऑफ द टॉटस आर ऑन द शेल दिल बी ग्रेट रिसर्च कॉलर्स यू कैन फैक्ट चेक मी नाउ people now tortoises have also become pets in many houses so they'll keep scratching the person who tames it says it likes that it seems you check <laughs> so the lord wanted to get his back scratched so he came as a tortoise and on his back was placed this entire mountain and it was churned now vedanta deshika says if it is churned well you will get good sleep somebody scratches your back and as you sleep well you snore and as the tortoise snored the air that came let the waters of the ocean turn into waves ृतोहणनिर्वृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृतोहृ
ಕ್ಷೀರಾಬ್ಧಿಕನ್ಯಕೆ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಯಾರಿಗೆ ವಧುವಾಗುವೇ ಹೂಂ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾರಿ ಬದರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನೀಗೋ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾರಿ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಬದ್ರಿನಾಥ್ ಶಿ ಸೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ವೆರಿ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ವೈ ವಿಲ್ ಐ ಗೋ ಮ್ಯಾರಿ ದೆನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸೆಟಲ್ ಇನ್ ದೆಹರಾದೂನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ದೇರ್ ವೆರಿ ಹೆವಿಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಅಯೋಧ್ಯ ದ ರಾಮ ಚಂದ್ರ ಮೂರ್ತಿಗೋ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾರಿ ರಾಮ ಚಂದ್ರ ಆಫ್ ಅಯೋಧ್ಯ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾರಿ ಮಹಾಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಸೇಡ್ ಸಿ ಹೀಸ್ ಮೋನೋಗ್ಯಾಮಸ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾರಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೀತಾ ವೈ ವಿಲ್ ಐ ಗೋ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾರಿ ಚಂದ್ರಭಾಗ ನದಿ ತೀರ ವಿಠಲ ನಿಗೋ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾರಿ ವಿಠಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಂಡರ್ಪುರ್ ರೂಪ ಪಹತಾಲೋಚನಿ ಸುಖ ಜಾಲೇವೋ ಸಜ ನೀ ತುಹ ವಿಠಲ ಬರ್ವ ತುಹ ಮಾಧವ ಬರ್ವ ತುಹ ವಿಠಲ ಬರ್ವ ತುಹ ಮಾಧವ ಬರ್ವ ತುಹ ವಿಠಲ ಇಲ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾರಿ ವಿಠಲ್ ವಿಠಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಒನ್ ಬ್ರಿಕ್ ವಿಠಲ್ the one who stands on one big mahal when will this man buy a house what the shengal nikar da shed so will you marry the lord of shri rangam everything he gave it was a swayamvaram for lakshmi and finally she chose i i like to marry this vishnu here he is very handsome i'll marry him so she married now this lakshmi vivaham is the culmination of kurma avatar next we have to go to vamana avatar so in kurma avataram and vamana avataram why are they related sir because the one who stood on the side of asuras was bali so from kurma avataram you have to come directly to vamana avataram now bali died in that war because there is one folklore one incident in our puranam not in bhagavatam it talks about when the amritam came what does amritam do immortality uh, sanatana dharma's vedanta states if you are born you have to die simple whoever you are you may be a great person but you still you have to die so there is no wholesale mass exemption given so you have to die now the body the material body has to be left and the jivatma has to leave that body whoever be it whether it is the devas asuras vijay setupati whoever it is they have to leave now amritam has been often told we have understood from shri amar chitra katha that it gives immortality no nobody can be immortal only the one who doesn't have birth can be immortal ajayamano the one who is unborn only will never have death if you are born you have to have death so what is this rasayanam ayurvedam tells very clearly that concoction that medical panacea that helps you live longer it extends it gives you longevity and gives you better immunity you won't have that many illnesses if you consume it you know you the chavan prash you like that so that is called rasayanam in ayurveda which is called amritam remember this so the devas wanted longevity they wanted to look young anti wrinkle cream they wanted to use so that is why this concoction came immortality is not granted underline now they wanted this rasayanam that is when we have one of the small narrations in our puranas that talk about viprachitti who went on the side of the devas and he was given amritam which the lord's eye spotted chandra surya nayana aprameya vagi indra janaka sakalesha shubrana gendra shayana shamana vairi sanuta the eye spotted that are akin to the sun and the moon that viprachitti has come that is when sudarshana comes and cuts and then their bodies are attached to the snakes they become rahu and ketu correct technically in our navagrahas we never had rahu and ketu Muttuswami Dikshita also did not sing nine krutis he sang only seven it is called varak krutis even the great mathematician in the 6th century called lalla in his commentary says that rahu and ketu are not to be treated as grahas it is a concept where you can 
probably say, Lalla says this as a mathematician, that the shadow which has been cast during the eclipses is possessed. This is the maximum you can say rather than saying Rahu and Ketu. But now Rahu and Ketu have become very popular. So if I say anything about Rahu and Ketu, there is one Rahu Rasigar Mandra. <laughs> they will get upset. Now, in this war that happened after this, when the Lord knew, one of the persons who died from the Asura sites, prominent person was Bali. Where is Bali from? Evidana Bali. Prayam. Kerala Malle. Huh? Alla. Idana problem. Huh? Prahladan. Ah, no. Prahladan, okay, fine. Prahlada is from Pakistan. No, Bali, his grandson, suddenly he has to come to Kerala. Uh, where is he from? He is from Gujarat. Sir, every year during Onam, after Sadhya he comes, no? No, that is the problem. Our understanding of Puranas is very weak. In Srimad Ramayanam, when Rama goes on an internship with Vishwamitra, an ashrama is shown to Vishwamitra, where it is said, Va Vamana as Upendra was born to Aditi and Kashyapa here. That is called Siddhashramam in Bihar. Kashyapa is from Kashmir. Some snow problem, he came to Bihar. Then the labor room, she delivered Vamana. During that time, Bali Chakravarti ruled Baruch, which is Bhrugukacham in Gujarat. Narmada Tate, says Bhagavatam. Then he performed the Yagam. And then Vamana went. Now the point is, Bali ruled this place. But he, fell, he died during the war. He was extremely hurt. Rather than saying died, he was extremely hurt. That is when Shukracharya comes and uses Sanjeevani Mantra to rejuvenate and bring him back to life. Shukrena Sanyati Hatopi Balir Mahatma Shukrena Jeevita Tanuhu Kratu Vardhitoshma Kratu means Yagam. Using Yagam, he brought him back. Vikranti man bhaya nilina suram triloki im chakre vashesa tava chakra mukhada bhita ha. Then he ruled his place. He brought, he seized the properties of people illegally. And he built a huge empire around it. Yathatani punasa dho prapadyena mamatma jaha. Looking at her son suffering at the hands of Bali, Aditi could not take it. She went to her husband. This Aditi and Kashyapa produced a maximum. Now she goes and asks, Oh, my sons are suffering. What do I do now? That is when Kashyapa said, See, we can have a child, but the child should be divine. For that, you, you should seek divine blessings. So you do payovratam. For which you have to smear your body with the mud that has been dug by the wild boar through its tusks. And you have to apply smear that throughout your body and you have to do it. Sini valyam rida lipya snayat kroda vitirnaya yadila bheta vaistrotam yetam mantra mudira yet. Twam devya divara hena rasaya has thana michata. Udhritasi namastubhyam papmanam me pranashaya. I will ask one question now. I didn't ask for a long time. Tvam devyadi varahena rasayaha sthanam ichchata udhritasi namastubhyam papmanam me pranashaya. Is the shloka in Bhagavatam. Tvam devyadi varahena udhritasi namastubhyam. Are you reminded of any mantra? Again, I'll repeat. Devyadi varahena, adi varahena, udhritasi namastubhya. Closest to clue. Paramach, varajarama shlokam is a purana antargatam. It is a shlokam. I'm talking about Vedam. There is one mantra. Udhritasi varahena, krishnena shatabahuna. Veda mantram has been produced as a shlokam in Bhagavatam. Because Veda mantra has restrictions as to who should recite. But Puranam doesn't have. So that everybody can decide. Shukha Brahmam has converted a mantra into a shloka. Now, as she propitiated the Lord and eventually turned pregnant, on a wonderful day of Vijayadvadashi, the boy was born. Tvamkashyape, the star on which the boy was born was Shravanam. Shravanam in the Tamil language is Tiruvonam. 
so that tiru is cut and that festival is called onam tvam kashya petapasi sannidhatta danim praptosi garbham adite pranuto vidhatra prasuta cha prakata vaishnava divya roopam sadvadashi shravana punya dine bhavantam then this boy at the age of 5 upanayanam was performed so there is a description brihaspati gave came and gave sacred trick it was given by brihaspati kashyapa the father gave the sacred cord bhuma devi gave uh, krishna jinam you know what is krishna jinam deer's hide soma deva gave the staff dandam dhyauhu gave the umbrella brahma gave the kamandalam saptarishi gave the darbha grass saraswati gave the aksha akshamala kubera ah, see what what is kubera's gift kubera was the biggest private lender in those days he gives one bhiksha patra uh, bhiksha patra uh, now when the upanayanam happens the father has to do brahmopadesham technically the father if he is living he has to do the brahmopadesham for the boy he has to teach what was taught to him it is a great mantra called gayatri mantram that is why avvayar has said tandai solmikka mandiram illai tandai has to teach that mantra but the problem is tandai should know <laughs> tandai should know the mantra hmm? so he has to teach that mantra to the boy now after the upanayanam is over the boy has to go seek arms because in those days after the upanayanam technically the boy has to go and do veda adhyayanam vedam was prominent so the boy would go and every day he has to live upon the cooked rice which is put to the boy remember i told you the day before yesterday a brahmachari cannot do agni karyam he cannot cook in those days so cooked rice will go to a brahmachari but today to commemorate because the boy is coming for one week vacation to india uh, now where will he go taking bhiksha so in that same hall group of people will be standing and then bhiksha has to be given to that boy so raw rice is given to that boy who gives that raw rice huh? mother because the mother is the most important person in a child's life be it the daughter or the son shastram tells father is okay now if the child refuses to listen to the father shastram is not very punishing to that boy he says okay you not listen to your father it is okay when i have not listened it's okay <laughs> whereas mother is very important mother is extremely important mata putrasya bhuyamsi karmanyava rabhate towards the son or daughter the mother has more rights is what shastram tells that is why in tamil nadu we all listen used to listen to amma <laughs> hmm? now now who is the mother aditi devi has to give bhiksha to the boy but she doesn't give who gives umam uma parvati comes and gives bhiksha to vamana you know why she got the name uma because she was performing intense austerities to marry shiva looking at the way she was performing penance she was becoming thinner by the day so the mother stopped her manorama was the name of the mother mena manorama so she said parvati what are you doing don't go don't don't is u ma don't so that became her name uma umam haimavati now uma gave the bhiksha to vamana and the lord was given a small chhatram he was given one kamandalu and then indra said indra's younger brother is vamana right upendra vamana pramshuhu so he said now you go and take bhiksha for me to bali so the lord went in bali's yagya vatika bali was a see bali was a very good administrator it was not easy to win over bali so that is why the dashakam begins shukrena jeevita tanu he was extremely devoted to his guru acharya so the only way to bring a downfall to bali and get back the seized property was to let him do guru apacharam he has to speak against his teacher that was the only way 
So the Lord went that day. Bali was offering dhanam to whoever they asked. They all said, "Give me this, give me that." Bali gave. Finally, towards the end of this charity process, came one particular juncture where Bali heard. Bali, Bali heard only the audio, no video. He looked. Where is this audio coming from? There was a little boy. Vamana. Vamana means the shortest dwarf. Dwarf is called Vamana. Alvar, the mystic poet says, how short was the boy while at his birth itself? He says, Kottangai Vamana. He was so short that looking at the height of this newly born baby, the dwarfs in this world got together. Dwarf association came. And they looked at this boy and said, Oh my goodness, he's so short. How will he get married? He was that short, it seems. The commentator says, Vamanargal kuluvai cerdi, even a kuk, kanadam pedipa, the yen yen yositavam irkum itirumeni. Such a short boy he was. Now, short boy, small umbrella, mini umbrella, mini commandalu, he went. Then Bali sat. He said, What do you want, sir? I want three measures of land. Okay, fine. Get me that uh, those documents, Vindhya Bali, of Tracy. Tracy, Dublin. We'll give one one. Vamana said, no, no, I don't want, I want to measure with my foot. Bali said, your foot is actually invisible. <laughs> it is negligible. With, with, with this, what will you measure? Don't worry, I will measure. Okay, Vindhya Vali, come. By the time this conversation was happening, Shukra comes. And he holds Bali's hand and he pulls Bali aside and says, Bali! I am going to tell a few things to you. Do not be startled. Do not turn that side and look at that boy. Wait. This boy who has come, Bali says, yes, this boy who has come is the one who technically tore open your grandfather. His father, Hiranyakashipu's stomach. <gasps> is it Narasimha? Don't turn. Keep looking at me. Don't react. It is, it is that Narasimha who has come as this little boy. Did he ask you for something? Yes, he asked for three measures of land. What did you say? I said, I, I will give. You should have thought. You should have consulted with me. Now, it, it, you're not, it, there's no delay. Cause you can just go and tell him. I'll get back to you shortly. <laughs> Sir, what is my name? Customer care. <laughs> so, Tamikshanam baligiri mupakarnya karunya purno. You tell him. That is when... Bali said, see, if the Lord has chosen to seek arms at my doorstep, am I not fortunate? I will stick to my promise. I cannot follow what you have said. Vamana, that tick, he has gone against his teacher. That was his aim. Then only you can bring a downfall to him. <coughs> so Bali came. And Bali said, Vindhyavali, pour water from the Kamandalu. She poured. Water was not coming. This year you had good rains. Two years back, water was not coming. So immediately, Vamana said, um, Bali said, Call the plumber. Plumber ko bulao. Water is not coming, he will fix the pipe. Bali said, Why do you need the plumber? I have got a toolkit. He took darbha grass and inserted into that entry from where the water has to come. In, in fact, it was blocked by a bee in which the Dharma Bhuta Jnanam of Shukracharya was operating. Through Mantra Shakti had come. So one of the eyes went to the bee. So thereby Shukracharya lost his eye. Shukkiran Kandai Arutani Acho Acho. That day he applied in Shankar Netralaya. He has not yet got his eye back, Shukra. Keshava Katakshai Kanetram says Mutuswami Dikshita. Now the water started flowing. Then Bali said, How much ever you want to measure three foot, do it. By the time he turned and gave the Kamandalu, he saw some shadow falling on him. Why is the shadow falling? This boy was growing. So he started growing and he grew and grew and further. All our Acharya say he went. He kept on growing without his dhoti tearing. Because as he, the Lord grows, his possessions also grow. 
So as he kept growing, all our acharyas say how he grew. This is where my hero comes, Vedanta Deshika. He says how the Lord grew. At one point he says, <clears throat> Vikrantu Ketu Patika. Ah. Bhakta Priyatvai Tatha Parivardhamane Mukta Vitana Vitatistava Purvama Seat Haravali Paramatho Rashana Kalapaha Tara Ganastadanu Mautika Nupura Shri. See, a normal person like me, I'll keep telling he grew and grew. A poet can't keep giving these sounds, right? He kept growing. That's not the way a poet works. Vedanta Deshika says, how did he grow? When the Lord began, the constellation of stars were like a canopy. As he kept growing, they became his necklace. As he grew further, it became its girdle. And as he finished his growing process, it became its anklet. So the stars are where they are. They are constants. He is the variable. Technical question. It fit as the necklace. Then it fit at his, as his girdle. Not possible. What fits as a necklace cannot fit as a girdle. How sir? Because you need 5-6 necklaces, you have to attach and then it will become one girdle. Correct? But Samudrika Lakshana Shastram says for the man and the woman, what fits as a necklace should fit as a girdle because the hip should be that thin. <laughs> that is why I have covered. Vikranti Ketu Patika Padavahini Te then Brahma. He saw the foot because the Lord raised one of its feet. One foot was going top. So Brahma held the petal of his lotus and saw what new foot is coming towards my house. There he saw Shankha Chakra Pancha Yuda Mudra in the feet. Oh, it is my father. Saraswati Idharao. Sasurji Arehe Maman Ardhan is Sasurji Sasurji Arehe So she said what will I do? You do something So he took Ganges, Ganga in his Kamandalam and did Aradharam to the Lord Now after this Abhishekam Abhisheka Toyehi was over Andal falls in love with this Vamana She loves Why? Because when the Lord grew he, he, he said to have just touched the upper worlds. It doesn't mean he measured. Generally in these books they will say measured. Measured means now he, did he use vernier calipers? What did he measure? Measure means he has just said that that belongs to me. See, I don't know how many of you have seen. When great uh, acharyas come to a sthalam, Purna Kumbham is given. Have you heard of this Purna Kumbham? So the Kumbham is kept and then the priest will go outside and he will give proper respects to the incoming Acharya and say, please come. There will be a recitation of one Veda Panchadi and then they will bring him. It should be given to people, just not Acharyas, people who know the meaning of why it is given. If a person doesn't know why Purna Kumbham is given and you are giving it to him, he will take that Purna Kumbham. So you have to just touch. So the person whom we are respecting, the person has to just honor our respects by touching the Purna Kumbham. Just touching is enough which means I have accepted the obeisances and respects you have paid to me. You know in Sundara Kandam when Hanuman flies, he comes across this mountain called Mainakam. Mainakam is a good mountain. It says I have built a nice resort four days, three nights, nine nine only come. Hanuman says see I am on a vision to see Sita. I cannot take intermittent breaks like this. So I will embrace you. He embraced and said see my embrace is akin to staying in your house for many weeks. So you have to touch. So the Lord touched the upper worlds, which means he has literally owned it. The next foot fell on the earth. Now you may ask, did it hit the cloud, stratosphere, ionosphere? It is Vedantic in meaning, which means he owns this world. 
over two measurements over then the lord asked where is the third measure what did bali do ah bali put his head while the lord measured the world earth where was bali ah earth he didn't keep bali out for some time in mars and said i will measure the earth now let me put back bali when he measured the earth bali was part of it so while the lord measured the earth bali was a part of that measurement then how could he offer his head sir he offered you leave sir no bali's concept there is very important bali is like the yesterday's son in law current day son in law is good you know 150 100 years back parents used to fear the incoming son in law jamata dashamograha he used to be like the 10th graha he will trouble more than the 9 grahas maapla undutar maapla undutar there is to be a hue and cry in the house if he comes and some of them not you are all good palave ingum gochu vari aara paathu chonnel you are all good beria sons in law are extremely good i am talking about the other sons in law when they come they last for demand this and that and we were in a age when we didn't have that technology so technically if you have to invite a person for a marriage they used to go to that house give the invitation with flowers and all of that and every house you have to go and invite personally can't even imagine today we create a whatsapp group or a svp do you do that oh. how how much how, what will you eat how much will you eat will you eat bolo questions right like food waste right so if you go to a house and there are about 10 members in the family inclusive of the son in law and the person invites please i have got my daughter's marriage all of you sakutumba sameetrai have you read the invitation one dark pink and dark yellow you have read that invitation oh beautiful colors they are shant श्रीमद्वेदमाग प्रतिष्ठापनाचार्यराय शांत शमदमादि असंख्येय कल्याण गुणंगल संपूर्णराय इकूडिय स्वामी सन्नधी अड़ियन तालुम तड़कयुम कूपिच्चयुम विज्ञापन उभयकुशलोपरी क्षेम फस्ट लाइन फस्ट लाइन यू सी इन दट इनटेशन वलयपेट राचार्यौहित्रन अयंपेट राजगोपाल अयंगार पौत्रन अड़ेनुष्ट कुमार दौहित्रियम अपितुचाबाइ <laughs> Sir, he has invited all of us. He has invited. Did he invite me personally? So he feels that he is not a part of all of you. Come, you have to give nine people. You have to invite all of you. Come, and where is that son-in-law, sir? You also come. Bali was like that. When the Lord measured the world, he has measured the world as he won over me. that me that arrogance is what the lord pushed in the third step andal was in love with this lord she says this is that incarnation that shows no disparity see in krishna avataram he loved the pandavas he didn't like the kauravas that much whereas in vamana avataram trivikrama avataram he didn't segregate based on geography i love i love nangannallur मलेश्वर तुम बहुत इष्ट सर वीणा स्टोर्स 
ಪಕ್ಕ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಓಯ್ಯೋ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಡಿ ನಾಟ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಕೀಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಫುಟ್ ಹಿ ಕೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫುಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ವೇ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ all these children whether they believe in me or not whether they follow sanatana dharma or not they are mine i won't segregate based on religion oh you have followed this religion only if you come to this religion you come whether you believe in me or not whether you like me or not you are mine this is that avataram which gave ownership to the lord of his possessions that is why andal who is generally head over heels in love with krishna at three occasions she invokes vamana ongi ulagalland uttaman per padi pasuram 3 ambaram tunnire shore aram seyum ಎಂಬೆರುಮಾನಂದ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಎಳುಂದಿರಾಯ್ ಕೊಂಬನಾರ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ಕೊಳುಂದೆ ಕುಲ ಬೆಳಕೆ ಎಂಬೆರುಮಾಟಿ ಅಶೋದಾಯ್ ಅರೇ ಬುರಾಯ್ ಅಂಬರಂ ಊಡ್ ಅರುತ್ ಓಂಗಿ ಬುಲಗಳಂದ ಉಂಬರ್ ಕೋಮಾನೆ ಊರಂಗದ್ ಎಳುಂದಿರಾಯ್ ಪಾಸುರಂ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಪಾಸುರಂ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇವ್ವುಲಗಂ ಅಳಂದಾಯ್ ಅಡಿ ಪೋಚಿ ಸೊ ತ್ರಿವಿಕ್ರಮ ಮೆಷರ್ಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪುಷ್ಟ್ ಬಲಿ ನೌ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ವರ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪುರಾಣಸ್ ಈವೆನ್ ಟು ಪಾತಾಳಂ ಬಿಲೋ ದ ಕ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಶಿಯಲಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ is however close you are to the lord good administrator arrogance will always have to go a foot deep then there is one drishyam where parikshit asks draunyasya viplushta midam madangam he says shuka brahmam day 1 7:50 pm i asked a question tell me about that man who went around me while i was housed in my mother's womb as a fetus and protected me i asked you tell me about him you spoke about creation of this world kamatsya avataram matsya avataram i am not done i'll do tomorrow kurma avataram varaha avataram simma avataram vamana avataram daksha prutu charitram daksha charit daksha yagyam vevena charitram dhruva charitram Oh, Ajam, Ilo, Pakhyanam, you said all this. Please come back to the point. Why did Shuka Brahmam not tell about Krishna at the start? Because, I don't know, again, I'll give you a very, very indic example. People who had many children in those days, they will be worried about the marriage of their children. Even after, they would just be born. Be Kalyanam. they will be worried parents were very worried so they would start you know they will live a very very simple life they will save every pipe and they would you know start accumulating jewelry for the daughter or the incoming daughter in law mostly the former not the latter <laughs> now there was an art there was a tradition of making diamond studs and around 1950s and indile 1950s and 60s there was one mine in south africa that used to give blue jacker diamonds it was very famous blue jacker and then they would accumulate and then they would call the goldsmith home they will not buy he has to come and do it and then this gold this beautiful blue jacker diamond studs would be kept in a box that box would be kept inside the now not more in any more existing babu jewelry purse and that purse will be kept in the side locker of the main locker within the bureau you have seen you are able to understand if the children don't understand you have to go and explain so in the bureau there will be a locker in that locker there will be a side locker inside that there will be a purse inside that purse will be a box inside that box blue jacket diamond now this bureau will be inside one room and that room's door will be locked and that house door will be locked now if somebody has to fetch those diamond studs 
He has to break the outer lock, the lock to the room, open the bureau, open the locker, open the side locker, open the purse, open the box and get the blue jacket diamond. So that blue jacket diamond is so precious, matchless, no equal, unparalleled and unsurpassed that it needs so many layers of protection. Krishna avataram is like blue jacket diamond, dashamaskandam. So it is put over the Navamaskandam, Ashtamaskandam, Saptamaskandam, Shashtyaskandam, Panchamaskandam. These are all like the doors. So the diamond is Krishna Avataram. So Shukabrama didn't want to expose the diamonds at the start. So he gives layers and layers and layers like the hazelnut within a ferrero rocher over layers. He takes it. Vande Vrindavanacharam Vallavi Janavallabham now begins Sri Krishna Avatara. The most desired, undoubtedly in whatever little I have studied under my Acharyas as Shastram, undoubtedly the Avataram that has received the maximum attention by all Acharyas. No other deity, no other Avataram, no other narration has received this much of attention. Aika Kanthehi, all Acharyas, if they, if they are boring, they will start singing about Krishna. Rama is there. Rama comes very close in that competition. He is like, you know, children who miss that hundred in that exam. Silly marks, they will lose one mark. Rama is like that. Krishna, he will get he will answer an extra question and get one not one. The teacher will be confused. How he got that one not one? Because he has answered an extra question. So, Krishna Avataram, any Acharya, what every language has celebrated Krishna Avataram. Begin from Kashmiri, go till Shankar Deva in Assam, go till Narsingh Mehta in Gujarati, go till Hiritachan, go till uh, Iriyaman Tambi of Malayalam. Let us go till Alvars. Oh my goodness, if you get into Krishna Avataram, we as speakers, we will be left for the huge choice that we have what to select and what not. Generally people say why didn't you sing this composition? How can I do justice? Sadashiva Brahmendra, one of the prolific writers and a great philosopher to him in Advaita philosophy there are two Brahmams Visishta Advaita doesn't concur with that aspect of Advaita there are two levels Sagunam and Nirgunam. In Advaita there is this concept and in Saguna Brahmopasana, you see the Lord with forms. And Nirgunam is beyond that. You don't check on the attributes. You go beyond that. You go beyond the form. You go to the formless is what Advaita states. Sadashiva Brahmendra was a great proponent. One day, one reporter went and interviewed him. Sadashiva Brahmendra, who was the Arnab Goswami. <laughs> and incidentally, he let Sadashiva Brahmendra speak. <laughs> so there was a recorder with him. Generally reporters will carry one recording button. Even in primary market research you use. So he took this recording button. He asked various questions. The US wants to know. Nation wants to know. <laughs> then that time he asked Sadashiva Brahmendra. Brahmendra, you keep talking about Sarvam Brahmamayam. You keep talking about the entire world which is Brahmam. Do you like anybody in particular? <gasps> no. Brahmendra said no. I am asking you again Mr. Brahmendra. Do you love anybody in particular? He said no. He will not leave. Do you love someone? He said I will tell. Pause your recording button. He paused. Whom do you love? See, I am talking about Nirguna Brahma. But every time I want to meditate on this Nirguna Brahman, one flash keeps coming in front of my eye. What flash? Arnab asks, or no. Then he says, I see one boy whose hue is like as resplendent as a sapphire rock is cut. That, that blue hue on his face. With mischievous look in the corner of his eyes. A smile that gives him a beautiful dimple. 
black hair tresses that are effervescent, shining and curly in nature. To hold them tight is one beautiful string of white pearls just gotten from the sea. And with a multi-colored peacock feather that is strung to his tresses. Tell me again, Ornob asks. Madashikhe pincha alankrita chikure mahaniyaka pola vijita mukure manasa sancharare brumhani manasa sancharare I am in love with that Krishna. Madhusudana Saraswati, great Advaita scholar. Eva Advaita Siddhi. He says, Krishna Param Tattvam Aham Na Jani. I do not know. Call me ignorant. I do not know of anything greater than Krishna. Krishna Param Tattvam Aham Na Jani. I spoke about Arunagiri Natha. Great Tamil poet, a devotee of Kartikeya. First, Tirupugal is enough to establish what a great Tamil poet he was. Muttai tarubatti tirunagaya tikkire shakti charavana muttikkuru vittikkuru barayana vodum mukkat paramar kuchuru din murpatta the karpit tiruvaru muppattu muvarka tamararu madi pena patta tala vatta kanai dodu vatta kire matta ipporu doru patta pada vatta tigiri liravaga. Patar kira dat tak kada biya baca ipu yang macet tak boru paksa thodu rakshit tarul badu moru naale. Patar k ira dat tay patar is partha. Patar in Tamil is partha. Patar k partar k ira dat tay ira dam is ratham. Kada biya baca ipu yang macet tak boru. He is that baca ipu yang. You have heard of this joke? Wama minnal. This is Pachai Puyal. That is Minnal. This is Puyal. Pachai Puyal me chitta gubarul pakshat todu rakshit tarul vadu moru naale. So even Narunagiri Natha who is singing about Karthikeya, this Krishna somewhere sneaks in in the first. Pattapada vatta thigiril iravaga jayadhrata vadham is mentioned in the first Thirupugal. See, people of mal... I don't have to talk about Shankara. Shankara falls in love. Bhagavad Gita, Kinchit Adhita, Ganga Jalalava, Kanika Pita, Bhagavad Gita. Geetam in Carnatic music. How many of you are learning music? There is one portion called Geetam. How does it begin? Lambodar Lakumikara. You have heard of this Lakumikara? So, Geetam is technically that phase in Sangeetam, Shastriya Sangeetam, where the child understands how music is. Because till then, the elementary portions are just Swaram. Sarigama Padani Sasanida Pamagari Sasari Sasari Sari, then Tatavari Sai, Mel Sai. Then, first time music is introduced to Geetam. Geetam means music, song. Krishna was a wonderful singer. Rama was in. See, Rama was very shy. Some people are very shy to sing in public and in private. Both. See, if appreciating music has to be innate. You cannot teach someone appreciate music. You can teach music, but you cannot teach the art of appreciating music. See, people who appreciate music, they'll, they'll get, they'll be on a high, they will say, Oh, this is Kalyani, Kalyani, Kalyani. For him, everything is the same. Athyala, Kalyani, Labdeer, Adagar, Grahavi, Adam, 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 For him, everything is a Rigama. This is Rinda, the Riya Pritcha, Yenda Riya Pritcha. And that too, when I mean, you will all have wonderful musicians here, you invite great Vidwans, Vidushis here, and in that concert, they will have a Neraval. Have you heard of Neraval? Telugu Ari Kit Neraval, Telisa? Telileda, Neno, I'll try. There will be, they will take one nice Kriti. One line, if they have to keep stressing about the beauty of that ragam, they will hover around like a bee that goes around the flower, they will go around that line. 
Don't send this recording to any musician. My pair repair. Romanchamane ghanakanchukamu Rama bhaktu danu mudra bilayu Rama nama mane varakagami vira Rama nama mane varakagami vira Rama nama mane Rama nama mane varakagami vira Rama nama mane varakagami Khadga mi vi rama nama Nama mani vara khadga mi vi rama nama mani vara khadga mi vi rama nama mani rama nama mani Person who doesn't know music has forgotten the next line Rama nama mane varakhaga mi vi rajillo nai He has now managed to remember Now, appreciating music is an art You cannot teach this to someone So, if you look at the song sung by Krishna Rama was against music Whereas Krishna was, he sang What was his song? Bhagavad Gita the song Bhagavad Gita Kinchit Adhita Shankara says Ramanuja He says I can see the scar of the rope that was tied around his hip in Ranganatha now in Sri Rangam He was able to see Dhamodara Bandham Drishya Oh all of our Acharyas The way they fall in love with Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says Cheto darpana marjanam bhava maha davagni nirvapanam Shreya kairava chandrika vidaranam vidyavadhu jeevanam Chaitanya Madhvacharya Raghavendra Tita Vedanta Deshika Manavada Mamunigar Oh, the list is endless. This avataram what we are going to witness is that one favorite of all Acharyas, Vedanta Deshika celebrates Vande Vrindavanacharam Vallavi Jana Vallabham Jayanti Sambhavandham Vaijayanti Vibhushanam I give my salutations to Vande Vrindavanacharam The one who has walked on the forest infested with Vrinda thorns Sir Vrindavana means Vrinda which is Tulsi. We make tea also out of it. So telling taunts. See, in Sanskritam, Shabda Kosham says, Amara Kosham says, Vrinda means a thorn. There is one special thorn called Vrinda. So this place was less habited by people. They were all originally, their original location was Gokulam. Because they spotted some inauspicious omens in this place, they shifted en masse to this place, infested with thorns. It was Vrindavanam. But east of India has a unique habit because Bengali, which is a primary language, doesn't have va. There is no va in Bengali language. That is why va becomes ba. Every place where you have va, it will become ba. Chakraburti, Vidya. So, Vrindavanam became Vrindavanam. But Brinda means Tulasi. So, they said Tulasi. But it won't fit the bill because imagine there is full forest of Tulasi. How will Krishna walk on it? You can't walk on Tulasi. Of course, after Krishna went there, Tulasi came. That is different. But originally, it was filled with thorns. Mandam, mandam, madhura nenadair, venuma, purayantam, vrindam, vrinda, vanu, bhuvigavam, charayantam, charantam, chando, bhage, shatamakam, makat, bhamsina, dhanavanam, hantaram, tam, kathayarasane, gopakanya, bhujangam, says Leela Shuka and Krishna Karnamritam. How, as Krishna walked with his lotus lily like feet, he turned the sharp edges of the thorns into grass. As you keep walking, it becomes grass. 
he says that is why one of the poets in the 17th century he says i do not wish to have another birth i want moksha but given the karma that i have if at all the lord you choose to give me another birth please give me as the grass in vrindavanam pullai piravi tarave endum kanna punitamana palakoti piravi tandalum vrindavanam idiluru pullai vande vrindavana charam i salute the one who has walked in vrindavanam vallavi janavallabham the one who is dear to the vallavi janas jayanti sambhavan dhama the one who was born on jayanti who is jayanti the one who supplies vadam in my house that mommy is called jayanti mommy who is jayanti mommy jayanti no sir we are doing for everybody when jayanti ambedkar jayanti vaiko jayanti hmm who is jayanti jayanti in jyotishya shastram means when the ashtami tithi of the waning phase of the moon called krishna paksham combines in the avani month with the rohini star then that combination that time when that rohini star should be there ashtami tithi should be there krishna ashtami should be there then that moment in jyotishya shastram is called jayanti jayanti doesn't mean birthday it should all these should be there if it is not avani month or some other month it can't be jayanti so jayanti sambhavan dhama vai jayanti vibhushanam the one who was born on jayanti and who sports vai jayanti now because of bhu bharam lot of people drilling holes for buildings for bore well lot of mining projects happening bhuma devi had severe headache how much we trouble mother earth she is called sakshat kshamam you know what is the name of bhumi the other name is patience her name is miss patience sakshat kshamam but we trouble her we extract oil for that oil we fight extract water all metals all elements we know come from earth we extract her trouble her bhumi devi has to be patient one day she has little migraine and she shakes her head turkey see one shake she does we can't stand all our paintings dup 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 they fall so this bhuma devi one day she went and sought refuge in brahma bhumi gaur bhutva ashru mukhi khinna krandanti karunam vibho उपस्थितांतिके तस्मै व्यसनम स्वम वोच्यत आई एम एक्सट्रीमली ट्रबल्ड ब्रह्मा जी कुछ कीजिए ब्रह्मा नो हिंदी कुछ कीजिए ही इज इन पुष्कर राजस्थान दाल बाटी चूरमा सो ही सेड क्या करना है भूमि अब बोलो सो शी सेड यू हैव टू डू समथिंग ब्रह्मा जी ब्रह्मा सेड सी आई नो वन थिंग हु कैन हेल्प अस we will go to vaikuntham and they went to karya vaikuntham see this vaikuntham is very important when i deal on the seventh day i'll tell you there are two vaikunthams 1.0 2.0 vaikuntham mentioned in the upanishads and vedam tat vishnoho paramam padagum sada pashyanti surayo ha that vaikuntham there is no return you cannot go there and come back i'll go there sir if all facilities are good i will stay else i am coming back to tracy you can't do that there is only one way nasa punaravartate nasa punaravartate if you go there there is no coming back that is paramapadam that is what is denoted by subalo upanishad the other vaikuntham is karya vaikuntham you can go there and come back like how sanaka sanandanas do they'll go come back like that so bhumi devi went and purusham purusha sukte na upatasthe samahitah tru purusha sukta de woke up the lord and the lord said what why, why why have you come what brought you here that is when they said see lot of problems for mother earth she is having extreme migraine because of demoniac forces the lord said don't worry it is high time that i am born i will be born as he said there is one verse which says 
ಅನಾವಲ್ಯಾಂ ಅಂಬಸ್ಯ ಪಾರೇ ವರದಾಯ ನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯಂ ಬಾಹ್ಯಾಂತರ ಹವಿರ್ ಭುಜೆ ಇಸ್ ಉಪನಿಷದ್ ವಾಕ್ಯಂ ಆ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ವಾಮೇ ಭಾಗೋ ದ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೌ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಶಕುನ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿ ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ದ ವುಮೆನ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ವಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಐ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಶುಭ ಶಕುನ ಅಂಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಶಿವರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಶಕುನ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ವೈ ಸಿ ವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೋತ್ ಇಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಯು ಚೆಕ್ ನೌ ದೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವರಿ ಅಭಯಂ ಸರ್ವಭೂತೇಭ್ಯ ಹಿ ಡಿಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ನೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಡೇಂಜರ್ ಸೊ ಅಭಯಂ ಸರ್ವಭೂತೆ ಪ್ರಸ್ಫುರಂತ ಪ್ರಿಯಸ್ಯವ ಪರಿರಂಭಾಭಿಲಾಷಿಣ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಧಿತರಂ ಬಾಹು ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಬಹ್ವ ಮನ್ಯತ ಲಾಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವರಿ ಭಟ್ಟದ್ರಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಝೋನ್ ವೇ ಸಾಂದ್ರಾನಂದ ತನೋಹರೇ ನನುಪುರ ದೈವಾಸುರೇ ಸಂಗರೇ ತ್ವತ್ಕೃತ್ತ ಅಪಿ ಕರ್ಮಶೇಷ ವಶತೋ ಏತೇನ ಯಾತ ಗತಿ ತೇಷಾಂ ಭೂತಲ ಜನ್ಮನಾಂ ದಿ ಭುವಾಂಭಾರೇಣ ದೂರಾರ್ಜಿತ ಭೂಮಿ ಪ್ರಾಪ ವಿರಿಂಚಮಾಶ್ರಿತ ಪದಂ ದೈವೈಫ್ ಪುರೈವಾಗತೈ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವರಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಬಾನ್ ನೌ ಟು ಹೂ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಚೂಸ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಅವರ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ವಿ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಚೂಸ್ ವೆದರ್ ವಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಅರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಚೀಸ್ ದ ಮದರ್ whether we like him or not he is the father whether they like us or not we are the child we have to accept life as is but the lord chooses pitaram rochayama sa he will choose now he has to choose whom will he choose that is when we have to go to mathura what will we get that peda so let's go to Mathura. in north there are two things peda and petha you know you get petha in patel you get petha is made from pumpkin Veda is made from milk. Try both. Now, in Mathura, there was this king called Shura Sena. He had many children of them. He got a few of them, daughters married to one man. Sir, what is this? Just like that you are telling. Uh, this king was called Anaka Dundubi. His name was Anaka Dundubi. Why? Because while he was born, the parents could listen to the music of the kettle drums anaka and dundubi why did they play kettle drums during this boy's birth because the rishis knew that this man shall father the lord later so he was called anaka dundubi for another reason he was called vasudeva vasudeva was given in marriage to the daughters of shurasena then there was a daughter called devaki devaki had a brother loving brother to her alone loving kamsa now this kamsa was extremely torturous to the other people big eyesore you can't see him you can't live with him distant relative of durvasa <laughs> pati pragrahinam kamsa now this kamsa he had lot of affection to his sister devaki devaki was married to anaka dundubi and they were kept in the chariot and they were taken around the city this was this is still a custom in many marriages used to be an important custom in the yesterday marriages prior to the marriage day the boy will be placed on a car ambassador car with many roses <coughs> and the boy will be taken around the city why slowly the car will go why because in those days there was no chance of doing background check slowly if the boy goes in the car and if he is already married secretly married to somebody else that lady will come and say hey, he is my husband <laughs> so mr kotish will be taken in the car slowly now kamsa was a riding the chariot he said for my sister enakku nu oru thange i will take her and he took her in the chariot the chariot was going and many ladies and men were carrying badam plate pista plate nagaswaram all this mallari was happening slowly the chariot was going astya stvamashtamo garbho he mudha full kamsa turned he knew what his name was ashtamogar bho the eighth child of whom you are carrying shall be the cause of your death 
This is what was heard as an ethereal voice. I don't know if some mama would have spoken from the behind of the tree also. I don't know. Now, Kamsa till now he was celebrating and enjoying the elevating the relationship that he had with his sister in one second when he knew that she could be a potential reason for his death. He took the sword from a scabbard, pulled her by the hair and was about to kill her. Behead her. Guillotine. Had I been in Vasudeva's place. Let me imagine. You do whatever you want and I would have come. I have many other wives. I will manage. But what did Vasudeva do? So, he said, Kamsa, wait. The one whom you are killing is your sister. You may be upset that the ethereal voice could turn true. But remember, Shariram is Anityam. Atma is Nityam. Atma will keep traveling, it will shed the material body and go janma after janma. But you can't escape death, Kamsa. The Lord from Vaikuntam thought, He should be my father. Because later Krishna will do the same thing in Kurukshetra Bhumi, right? Like son, like father. So he said, This man should be my father. Then Kamsa said, you seem to be a good man. I know about you. You, you take loans and you stay in your own country and pay it back. So you are a good man. You have got a good history. Fine. I will leave. No. Devaki and Vasudeva left. And Vasudeva said, If a child is born to us, I will come and give that child to you. You do whatever you want. He gave the first child. Kamsa said, Honest man you are. I won't do anything to this child. You take back. Then Narada came. He said, Sir, are you a fool? Huh? Now with the happiness that the first child has survived, they will produce more children. Maybe the seventh child may not grow to the height of the eighth child. So, you may not know what the order of children. So, he may say that the eighth child is the seventh child and the seventh the eighth. So, if they stand in a circle, which one will you know as the eighth child? Kamsa was very weak, arrears. So, he confused Kamsa and Kamsa said, okay, I'll start killing one child. He killed. What did the Ashari Rivakyam say? Fool. He put both that man, Vasudha and Devaki, in the same jail, same cell. Why will they not keep producing? Huh? See, look at them. They were not depressed at all that they were in the jail. So, now, six children were born and they were killed. Shadguna stena buddhya hata iti dharmasthana bhutokshara samagatasyapi marana mashankya pariharati vaishnavamiti vishnor vyapakasya sarvarakshakasya svarakshayam sandeho nastiti gnyapitam saptamo dharmi chatadadhara bhutaha. This is the commentary that I have read from a commentary to Bhagavatam. There are many commentaries. There is a Sridhariya Vyakhyanam. There is one Vyakhyanam based on Visishta Advaita philosophy called as Viraragaviyam. There is one commentary based on Pushti Sampradayam. Have you heard of Pushti? Uh -huh. Very good. Vallabhacharya Sampradayam is called Pushti. If you go to Nathdwar, Jai Shri Nath Ji Ki, you have to raise your hands. You, Vallabhacharya. Adharam Madhuram. He wrote one commentary on Bhagavatam. It is called Subodhini. Beautiful Vyakhyanam. I read from that. He says why the six children were killed. There is one reason in the Puranam that they were sons of Kala and Amy and so on. But here, the Lord is a repository of six attributes. Day 1, 640, I spoke about this. Bhagava, Jnana Bala, Aishwarya, Virya, Shakti, Tejas. So, six gunas are mentioned as six children. And he is the fulcrum, the confluence of all gunas. So he is mentioned as the one born as the seventh and eighth. Because seventh was a partial manifestation. There was an embryonic transfer from her to Rohini. Rohini is the other wife. 
Yeah, staying. So Vasudeva had many, many, many wives. That that is why I'm telling you, if you get into all this, why, 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 we won't know. He had. She was staying in Gokulam. She delivered the child. He was extremely handsome. Ramayatiti Ramaha. But as soon as he was born itself, people could sense the power he had. Bala Ramaha. Hmm? So this Balarama was extremely well built. Then Krishna was to be born. Now, eighth child. Now, here we have how she was during that pregnancy stage. She was pregnant. Six children she has lost. How depressed she'll be. Seventh child, abortion. Eighth child she is. She's so upset. She should be technically upset. But how was her mood? Vedanta Deshika in a work called Yadava Bhyudayam talks about it. He says, Shatahlada bandhuraya svakantya sanjati jambudana bimbakalpa trayanta yugmena rasayanena kalena bheje kaladhauta lakshmi. Generally, dark women who are dark complexion during pregnancy may seem a bit fair because the skin gets stretched and they also may turn pale, anemic. That's why they give iron tablets and folic acid. So, dark women during gestation may seem fair. But here the poet wonders, the fair Devaki has turned dark during gestation. Why? To which he says that the hue of the developing fetus is so dark that it has pervaded in the caring mother's skin. Shatahlada. What is that? It's kaleidoscope. Huh? There will be a medley of colors, right? So, there are so many colors in her. What are the colors? She is fair. Krishna is dark. Dark Krishna has Mahalakshmi on his chest who is gold color. Hiranyavarnam Harini. Gold color Mahalakshmi has feet in Mehendi. Padalakshara Sankam red. So red feet Mahalakshmi with the gold hued body is seated in the chest of Krishna who is dark hued. Who is housed in Devaki who is fair. So white plus black white plus black plus gold plus red she has turned silver Shatahlada says Vedanta Deshika now how did he turn dark see generally people will say you pull a group and I'm a group so if somebody is dark we will attribute it to either mother father grandfather grandmother somebody has to be dark because the child cannot keep get tanned in the first stage itself in goa beach so it has to be dark why is the lord dark vedanta deshika says lakshmi netrot palashri hi satata parichaya desha samvardhyamana nabhi nali karinkan madukara patali datta hasta avalamba asmakam sampadoga na virala tulasi dhama sanjata bhuma kalindi kantihari kalayatu vapshah kalima kaitabhare he how is he dark because the bees, the dark bees that hover around the lotus flower that has arisen out of the Lord's Nabhi, its reflection falls on the Lord and he has turned dark. Or he is porting Krishna Tulasi which has given him the darkness. Or he is looking at his reflections into the waters of Kalindi which is Yamuna which is already dark so the darkness has come on him. Or looking at his beauty head to toe, Mahalakshmi who assumed he will not be that good looking is surprised at his beauty. So her already existing large eyes have enlarged and further. So the collyrium that she has applied on her eyes has split into small all packets in the air and those have come through Schrodinger's equation and fallen on his body and he has turned dark. So from Mahalakshmi's eye glances he has turned dark. Lakshmi Netra Utpala Shrihi. Now as Devaki walks within that cell, that cell is not like Parapan Agrahara. No facilities. So normal cell. So as she walks within that cell, she is able to feel as if she is flying. She is worried, some, some problem during my gestation. So she sits. And as she is about to recline, she feels that the floor is slippery. If I stand, I feel I am flying. When I sleep, it is so slippery. Why? To serve the Paramatma, Garuda became the Vahanam, it seems. That is why she had the sense of flying. And Adi Sesha became the serpent couch. That is why the floor was slippery, says Vedanta Deshika. Garude Nayantim Padme Nishannam Adhiratna Peetham. So as she was carrying the Lord, came the month of Avani. Krishna Shtami, 
Krishna Megha Janitam Jani Tapaharam. The clouds had come and they had covered the entire premises. It was pouring cats and dogs. Kamsa was not able to sleep that night because from the day he had heard the ethereal voice, he knew that there is something very secretive happening about his death, about the end that he is going to meet. He was extremely worried. On the other hand, Vasudeva was worried because at least this child should survive. Devaki had the pain in her. It was pouring. Even if it was an Ashtami Tithi, the rays of the moon could actually creep through the crevices in the clouds and fall on earth. Because of the thick rain-bearing clouds that had managed to cover even those thin rays, nectarine rays of the moon falling on earth. There was no scope for light coming at all. This was actually a cell where they were languishing inside a prison. So there was no scope for the light to come. It was pouring. Now, we are going to have Krishna Avatara Shlokam. It is, it is called Avatara Hasyam, Avatara Ghattam. Of course, Krishna Avataram we will be talking tomorrow, the day after, all these days. But since it is Avatara Ghattam, the lights will be switched off. And you will all have your phones. You can switch on the light, torch in your phone. And as this is narrated, you can do Harati in your own phone to the Lord. So, I don't need light. <clears throat> it was this wonderful night when the celestials were awaiting an avatara that is going to give the quintessential knowledge of Vedanta as Brahma Sutras, as Bhagavad Gita. While this was a beautiful scene, it was pouring. Kamsa was unable to sleep. Acharyas are waiting for the avatara. That is when, in the mid of the night, while Yashoda also had pain because she is to deliver a girl child in a few minutes from now because Ashtami Tithi is just about to close. Navami Tithi is going to begin. Before, when the Navami Tithi began, she delivered. The Ashtami Tithi is in the last stage of completion. That is when, while it was pouring outside, there was only darkness, came this light. And that light is... Jagati Gita Yandham Tamaha through Bhagavad Gita he is going to give one of the works the world has never seen in philosophy. And this child was born. Tamad Bhutam Balakam Ambujekshanam Chatur Bhujam Shankha Gadhar Yudhar Yudam Shri Vatsalakshmam Gadashobhi Kaustuvam Pitambaram Sandra Payodi Saubhagam Maharha Vaidurya Kirita Kundalatvisha Parishvakta Sahastra Kuntalam Uddhama Kanchi Gadakankana Dibir Virochamanam Vasudeva Maikshata Vasudeva was able to see in his eyes a beautiful form of the Lord with Chatur Bhujam with four hands Shankham Chakram Gada Padmam and from his Nabhi was a beautiful lotus seated on which was Brahma and this Drishyam was so beautiful, every word of Shukha Brahma deserves a matchless stone, a precious stone for his description. This particular avataram called Shri Krishna avataram, which Devaki, Devaki, Jathare, what kind of bhagyam she must have done to support the Lord in her. Of course, the Lord has to move to safety. But what are the ragas that propitiate? Natara bhibhupala bilahari maya malava gaula asaveri saveri shuddha saveri devagandhari dhanyasi begada hindustani kapi todi nata kurinji shri raga sahana atana sarangi Darbaru Pantu Varali, Varali Kalyani, Bhuri Kalyani, Yamuna Kalyani, Husheni, Janjoti, Kaumari, Kannada Karahara Priya, Kalahamsa Nada Nama Kriya, 
ముఖారి తోడి పున్నా గవరాడి కాంభోది భైరవి ఎదుకుల కాంభోది ఆనంద భైరవి శంకరాభరణ మోహన రే గుప్తి సౌరాష్ట్రీ నీలాంబరి గుణక్రియ మేఘగర్జని హంసధ్వని శోకవరాళి మధ్యమావతి జంజురుటి సురుటి ద్విజావంతి మలయాంబరి కాపి పరశుధనాసరి దేశిక తోడి ఆహిరి వసంత గౌళి సంతు కేదార గౌళ కనకాంగి రత్నాంగి గానమూర్తి వనస్పతి వాచస్పతి దానవతి మానరూపి సేనాపతి హనుమత్తోడి ధేనుక నాటక ప్రియ కోకిల ప్రియ రూపవతి గాయక ప్రియ వకుడాభరణ చక్రవాక సూర్యకాంత హాటకాంబరి ఝంకారధ్వని నటభైరవి గీర్వాణి హరికాంబోధి ధీర శంకరాభరణ నాగానందిని యాగప్రియ విశ్రమర సరస గానరసేత్యాది సంతత సంతన్యమాన నిత్యోత్సవ పక్షోత్సవ మాసోత్సవ సంవత్సరోత్సవాది వివిధోత్సవ కృతానంద శ్రీమతానంద నిలయ వాస శ్రీ శ్రీనివాస సుప్రసన్నో విజయత దీస్ ఆర్ ద రాగాస్ దట్ ప్రొపిషియేట్ ద లాట్ అండ్ దెర్ ఇస్ అ లాట్ టు డిస్క్రైబ్ ఇన్ శ్రీ కృష్ణావతార జననం దిస్ అవతార శ్లోకం హ్యాస్ అ డీప్ ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ బట్ హియర్ వీ హ్యావ్ వన్ స్మాల్ భజన్ అండ్ వీల్ కన్క్లూడ్ యు హెవ్ టు రిపీట్ సుమారు అదా మాడమే గురులం ప్రియాడ్ గోవింద గోవింద రాధా ముకుంద గోవింద గోవింద రాధా ముకుంద మురళీధరానంద చంద్ర మురళీధరానంద చంద్ర మధుసూదన గోకులేంద్ర మధుసూదన గోకులేంద్ర కోలాహలానంద బృందవనానంద గోపీజనాంబోధి చంద్ర కోలాహలానంద బృందవనానంద గోపీజనాంబోధి చంద్ర గోపీజనాంబోధి చంద్ర గోపీజనాంబోధి చంద్ర i have taken a lot of your time 2 hours 42 minutes hmm? 5 minutes short of bahubali but i will stick to my timings from tomorrow so tomorrow we will have shri krishna avataram completely and uh, we have utsavams upanyasams on saturday and sunday saturday it will be in the morning sunday also in the morning and many many devotees have made palpayasam today because in kerala there's a paddhati when krishna is born palpayasam is given all of you please do take palpayasa prasadam in the kavitarkika simhaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha kalyana rupaya kalojanana kalyana dhatre karuna sudhapte kamvadi divya yudha satkaraya పాతాలయాధీష నమో నమస్తే నారాయణ 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 నారాయణ